I have I'm coffee. glad we're starting with combat because this is going to be rough. Yeah, this is all full of coffee. Hello. We're good to go. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Dungeon Select Campaign okay, I'm 2. I'm immediately self conscious because having listened to the audio, I pretty much have started. Like, <laughs> That hello is like how I've done it every single time we started, <laughs> and like twice in episode one because after the break I came back and I was it's, oh dude okay well, <laughs> you're in your own brain dude just don't think yeah um we're don't down to Soko today because Soko is working but uh, he's with us in spirit uh, unfortunately Soko nice. is going to be like the Ashley Johnson of the campaign uh, he's going to be MIA a lot because of uh, work scheduling duty. he's going to be here when he can and when he can't he's not. Really, that's kind of the kind of the way it's gonna go. Um, but welcome everybody. It's Sunday. We're here. We made it another week. I just realized that Ethan's camera is cropped a little weirdly. So let me just quickly fucking. I check thought like, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. We can do some announcements while you crop. That's yeah, crazy. It's want. almost like that's true. Um, I had to readjust, but he wasn't here for me to really look at where his face was gonna be. It's crazy. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> got grave digger. It's also crazy that he's muted. Any and things, he's talking trust. to us. Stupid idiot. <laughs> I was here, I was just getting changed, and I didn't want to flash the entire group. Fuck yeah, dude. Day. Oh yeah, okay. We, we get flashed for Baldur's Gate for no reason, but... <laughs> True! <laughs> we actually do. Wait, why does your mic sound like shit, Ethan, real quick? Because it's like all the way in the fucking bathroom. Hello. Oh, there, there we go. You got, you got it in the bathroom. <laughs> Look, it's been a long day, okay? It's, a it's long downstairs. Day. Um, announcements before we get going. Um... Last Thursday, we had a dungeon discourse with uh, Laura and Belle, which was Yay. a good time. It was fun. Uh, we talked about their character creation, their session zero, and a little bit about the, the campaign so far. Uh, if you want to check that out, it's on the YouTube. Go go subscribe to the YouTube and all that good stuff. There's a link down below. Exclamation mark YouTube should also work. All that good shit. Uh, next week, we'll have um, Duke and Koiba talk about their character creation and their session zero. And uh, if you want to submit any questions you may have for that duo, let me get the link for you real quick. There's a thread on the subreddit. You I guess you could also put a tweet out. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, mean, I always, I always say you can tweet at the Dungeon Select Twitter too. But, uh, yeah, so okay. yeah, either it's... tweet it at the uh, DS Twitter or submit it here. And uh, we'll, 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 we'll go over those questions uh, this Thursday. Um, tomorrow. And if you don't have we'll any be... now, you might by the end of the session today. True. And uh, tomorrow we uh, are doing Baldur's Gate, which is I think coming to an end in like yeah, maybe two-ish, so. maybe maybe two or three more, depending on how much side uh, stuff I we think. decide to do. Uh, <clears throat> because early access, so it's not full game yet. So we're, we're playing what we can play, and uh, after that, I think what we'll do is um, Divinity: Original Sin Two has been talked about. Love so me similar, some divinity. Similar so style of game. I actually have that game. Wow. Similar style of wow. game. Wow. And all that good stuff. Um, other than that, anyone else have any announcements before we um I mean I guess I could announce this. We're starting to uh work on audio only form for Dungeon Select as well. Uh so soon there will be a bunch of links for you guys to listen to Dungeon Select. Um on whatever podcast platforms we'll be able to uh, get them on uh, but more info on that soon once it's actually there but it's it's being worked on so uh, once that is uh, established all the episodes of campaign 2 will be uh, there in, in audio form too for those that want to listen i don't know while while on a run or in the car to work or whatever it may be or falling asleep or before falling asleep like listen to it in bed the dulcet tones of dungeon select the dulcet tones of <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, those yeah. are my announcements. Yeah. Anyone else have anything that they want to share with the class? Yeah. Less than one week till the gaystivities one shot. The party has gone from six to four, but it's still happening. Four players. Going to be a good time. Uh, Yeah. Mark your calendar. September 4th, baby. Laura tries to DM. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting experience. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, can we have the audio only, but with Koiba muted? Uh, sure, man. <laughs> we can do that. I don't think we can. Because uh, no, we're not uh, we're not well, giving individual is, audio Koiba, streams. The thing is with Koiba, 
is that nine out of ten times when he talks, he'll be talking away from his microphone anyway. So we'll <laughs> hear him anyway, so it's fine. I, I could go through and just cut out <laughs> every moment that Koi was talking. <laughs> and then we could upload, like, Dungeon Select Campaign 2 Episode 1, and then a separate Dungeon Select Campaign 2 Episode 1 in... Brad no Koiba. No Koiba, yeah. So just yeah. koiba -less. Yeah, yeah, but um, with and that in mind, them. it is very important that uh, for the sake of audio, because if we don't, we right now we just use the VOD audio, because uh, if if we don't, we have to make sure that every one of us is uh, is 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 um, recording Record. its own like separate, yeah. and that's gonna fuck up. Someone's gonna forget. Someone's fucking audio is gonna corrupt, and then we just have won't have an episode at all. So uh, there is just too much that could go wrong there. So we're doing it with the VOD audio. So it is very important to always. Talking to your microphone. For uh, yeah. heck of frick, all of you. That's what I need. I just you know, need a it's mic. important oh, that uh, Ethan has his yeah, mic pulled up his mouth him. before he says his first word on stream. It is important that Koiba Hello. doesn't do this or whatever. I don't mean to do it. I mean, okay? not I just think all of this out at the start. God. No. Heck of frick, all of you. leaving this in? Yeah. 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 I'm so sorry, audio listeners. Um. I mean, Hunter, that means that there are seven people that have to yeah. separately record their audio. Yeah. One's going to fucking forget. One's going to have a setting wrong. One's going to just make a mistake and fuck it up. Or there's seven. There's going to be seven audio files. Windows things go wrong. There is a good chance that one audio file will corrupt and we're just all screwed. Also, a lot of us, like, oh, at least me, like, when I go to type in chat, when I remember, I mute myself on Discord so you don't hear my furious clickety-clackety. So if we all yeah. send our individuals, like, I can't, like, I don't, audio like, I, my mic would still be... Quality, quality-wise I mean, is the, fine. The, yeah, the Discord audio is recorded on Dutch's end and extracted easily. Like, that's yeah. not the issue. So, oh. it's like, just, quality, we don't quality get wise, it is fine. Discord, uh, as long possibly. as everybody keeps in mind that uh, they fucking speak into the mics and stuff. <laughs> So, as long as that happens, then we're good to go. I have an announcement. Whoa. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I got dice. Oh. From Jonimus. In the chat. What a chat. Speaking what do they look like? No, unboxing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, shit. Unboxing, unboxing? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. To go audio only podcast. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is, really this audio is like friendly. the advent calendar. Oh, my God. The gift again. wrap. But less wow. exciting. Wow. Wow. Who That's remembers the big okay? advent calendar that broke uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so oh. cute. I really enjoyed keyframing that to like <laughs> go with his nods. It was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Here we yeah, go. Duke uh, had a oh really bad God. session last week and rolled shittily, and Jonimus felt yeah. bad. So Jonimus bought Duke and he set it back to try out. Like Wait. a king. I'm going to open this so up. Now, I don't. We I'm gonna blame... hold this up to the camera, but I don't think it'll focus. But do we blame is, like, the Johnny if these are all bad, or do we yeah. blame Daddy yes. Bezos because they're yes, from Amazon? Yeah, and yeah. The Amazon Wait. corrupted them? Is Johnny we'll about to be our Gale? No, um... but you see that fucking long ass word? Like what? Yeah. What is yeah. that word? Is that it's, Dutch? It's a Chinese word. Oh, wow. I guess for the factory, but mm, I guess it looks could have been Welsh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. It could have been Welsh. <laughs> Yeah, it's Ooh. the animal. Are they metal Ooh. dice? They are metal. Ooh, and a dice gang. And they are green. I don't know how how well Ooh. that shows. Nice. I can see the green color a bit. Yeah. A yeah. Bit, yeah. It's very pretty. pretty. Thanks, Jonimus. Wow. Feel free to try me dice anytime. God awful. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, dude. We'll fucking see. I can't put the oh, I can't put the thing back in the own in its own lid. That's a setting. They have like a green dragon skill texture. Uh, you should, what you should do, Duke, is it's, take a little yeah, we'll have a picture of them and put it on the Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. The Reddit. I can get good lighting. Yeah. We highly encourage anyone who's a Dungeons like fan. Whenever you get new dice, post them. So on just the send them to us because we like to look at them. Yeah, just send them to us. Yeah, 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 them to send us. Dice to no, no, not us. To me, just send them to me. Just to Quavo. I'll bless them. You won't get them back. Right. If they go to Koiba, they will be ruined forever. They'll I be just... ruined forever. <laughs> no, heck and frick all of you. <laughs> In black. So, uh, if there's no more announcements Not for us to man. do, I think it is time for us to kick off today's session. Last week, you enjoyed uh, a festival in the city of Eldilon to celebrate its 25th anniversary uh, since it being settled. Uh, 
the first day of the festival, you played a variety of different games, had drinks in the Friendly Giant Tavern, met uh, the colorful cast of workers there, and hung out with them. And um, the day after, a little bit of festival, but then you got called to the uh, Imperial Emissary's house to uh, discuss the investigation after her attempted assassination. Uh, some Something came up, some new uh, developments that uh, involved uh, some potential betrayal. I need to read. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Ethan's camera, but it's pissing me off, quite frankly, actually. What's wrong with my camera? Do I keep dipping out of it? Or? Yeah, you just keep dipping out. That's... Yeah, I just put it in chat. There we go. I'm dipping out on purpose. There we go. Um, basically, the fact that two separate occasions you want to infiltrate uh, the city limits to attack whether it's citizens or people of a more important uh, uh, position is too much of a coincidence and the Imperial Emissary believed that there is betrayal at hand and with that they investigated blueprints drawings made off of the uh, city the, the planning of the city and there was an irregularity uh, they discovered a room under the uh, Imperial Trade Company uh, their office that didn't show up on the final um, plans before the construction started but on the initial one it did so you lot went there to investigate being as inconspicuous as possible and found this room and, uh, in that room another Sacrificial altar, but this one more crude and makeshifts, almost made on the fly. Uh, with that, uh, also contain a letter written by somebody to uh, their mother. But you triggered a trap when entering the chamber, causing you to slide down a ramp. And this trap seemingly also woke up a twelve-legged blue-scaled creature with bright blue eyes, large a large tail, and horns on his head, lightning coming out of its mouth. Crawling out of a crevice in the floor. I would like you all to roll initiative. Let's fucking please. go! Yeah. And I all get right. advantage on initiative because of what no, Alasvin did last time. Thank God, because I needed it. Because one of those was Garbo. Roll for me You're first welcome. or just right. yeah. That's up to you. First roll. Johnimus dice. Oh, oh well, here we go. Johnny, it's as harmless pressure. as initiative. Here we go. <laughs> You aren't gonna fucking believe that I just rolled a natural <laughs> one. You are not gonna I believe know. that I just rolled a natural <laughs> one. Not the dice, it's the man! Yeah, oh, man. shit, dude! You're just God the Will Wheaton of Dungeon Select. Yeah, yes. you are. You are the best campaign, you're the Will Wheaton of Dungeon Select. Well, you're Matthew Mercer as a player and not a DM. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's unbelievable. Um... <laughs> That's unbelievable, man. dude. <laughs> that is, uh... Well, you're going last. I, right. I have a plus eight. So maybe oh, not. True. Uh, initiative uh, twenty or higher. Twenty one. Natural 21? twenty to make twenty three. Shit. Okay. Twenty three for Kess. Twenty one for Elazrin. Fifteen to twenty. I got sixteen. Sixteen. For oh Diagon. Oh Ten to fifteen. Thirteen for Brooks. Thirteen for Brooks. Yeah, just put me in jail, dude. Five to ten? <laughs> Nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. What, what, uh, what, what, what did Jax roll? Four minus two. So two. <laughs> there you That's go. what he gets for not being like, here. Uh, ten and a four, not too bad. And then I looked at it and I was like, I've got a plus three. I'm doing okay. Jax has a minus two. <laughs> I fucking love Jack so much. He's so combat useless, and I love him. I love that Soko <laughs> always builds like super powerful characters, and now he's just built Alrighty. like a, an old man. With that, as no. this 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 long creature comes crawling towards you, yes, it is your turn first. What do you do? And I hate it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I want to hex it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So you cast hex. Um. I believe you get to choose a certain stat that they'll have disadvantage on checks for as well with Hex. Yeah. So which um, one do you choose? Shit. I'm going to choose Dex. Dex? All right. Yeah. 
And then I'll Eldritch Blast it. All right, roll attack. Nice. Uh, so that's... I don't my page. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 hits. Yes, absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay. 1d10. Uh, nine. Nine points of damage? Yes. And then from Hex. Where is my Hex spell? To D6, I believe. Yeah, I'll just do that. An extra one. Yay. So 10 points of damage total. Yep. All right. So you initially cast a spell and, and this, 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 this faint aura now emanates around this, this creature. And then you just blast it with a with a beam of, of energy, kind of kind of sh shaking the room a little bit on on it, upon impact. And all it does is just look at you and kind of like opens his mouth. And you can see some like small lightning bolts kind of crackle out and hit the floor and shoot up. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, Lazarin. Uh I will as an action channel divinity and twilight sanctuary. Okay. So the big orb, the big dome comes out. And then I will bonus action cast Shield of Face. Oh, Shield of Face? Shield of Faith. Jeez, fuck. Okay. Shield, Shield, of face. Shield of Face. Shield of Faith on uh, Davian. Oh, okay. She gets, a, she gets a plus two to his AC. And that'd be my Ooh. turn. I'll back up a little bit. But, like, obviously try and keep everyone in the radius. All right. Sounds good. And I'm a turn. So that means I get some temporary hit points. True. I get an extra seven. Noise. There you go. Very nice. Daigon. So, I'm sure you already said it at the beginning, but I forgot. So, how far away is the creature from where we're kind of clumped right now? Uh, the room is not very big. It's it's, yeah. it's like it's like 20 feet away from you. Oh, the, no, you need to use feline agility here. Just use normal monk speed. I'm gonna run up to it and it's snake-like lizardy form just make, speaks to the more like feral cat-like side of me less human so we're just gonna leave the spear on my back just go at it with the claws all right go for it uh okay <clears throat> so here we go well, i meant to roll the other dice but that's fine that is a 16 to hit that hits yeah yeah okay uh i need this uh six points of slashing Damage, Six points of slashing damage? Yes, slashing. Yeah. And then bonus action, flurry of blows with the key point. Go for Go two for more. Basically just like mad furious cat just sliping at it like at, on it like it's underbelly or like the side close like reaching it towards its underbelly if, if possible because I know sure. that's where things are weak. So that one of them is a dirty 20 to hit and the other is a 14. Uh, Both hit. The 14 Hell just yeah. hits. Hell yeah. Okay, we now know what its AC is. Um, So that's one hit is seven points of slashing, and the other hit is five points of slashing. All right, very good. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Brooks. Oh, you get uh, eight points of temporary hit points. Laura. Oh, how much? Sorry. Eight. Okay, thanks. Brooks. Question, because I thought we had, but Sophie's character, she hasn't been updated. We've slept since our last combat, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have, cool. I thought so. Okay. I, I'm gonna... Towards it and rage. Okay. Pull out my hand axes. Go for the face, I guess. Yeah. Not good. An eight. Doesn't hit. We'll smack the bitch again. Go for it. Fifteen. Fifteen? That does hit, yeah. Okay, thank fuck for that. Do -do 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 That is four plus Don't get just for raging that. So six points of Slashing damage. Six points of slashing damage. All right, very good. 
Uh, it is now this young Bahir's turn. Four. Oh yeah, you get four temp HP, right? Four uh, temp HP. And this Bahir is going to take a bite uh, from the cat-like individual right in front of it. Uh, that is a 14 to hit, Laura? Uh, that does not hit. There you go. All right. Um... Yeah, that's its turn. I could technically give it temporary HP, but I won't. <laughs> no? No. Oh, why not? But because it just it does just say whenever a creature, including you, ends its turn. It doesn't even say if it's the ally. I could just fucking heal my enemies. But I'm not <laughs> Do it, no balls. No. Um all right. I'll, uh, I'll end the charm or fighting effect on it. There we go. Oh, you can do that? Yep. Nice. So, uh, it wasn't frightened nor charmed, but uh, well, it's uh, you know it's the gesture. Not counts. anymore. It's not <laughs> um Real men give their enemies temporary HP. True. True. <laughs> um, Jax. Jax is going to what? back But he away. got lower than me. But you rolled a nat one. But I'm speedy, boy. But you rolled a nat one. <laughs> Jax is going to back away as far as he can and shoot his crossbow at it. Oh, okay. God. Here we go. <laughs> Minus two to hit. Smile. Or whatever. Minus <laughs> an 18. Oh? Wow. It's a plus zero with this crossbow. Actually, oh, plus zero. My bad. It's proficient with it. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's proficiency, True. but then it counters the... Uh, 18 does hit, yes. Okay. Watch me, wa watch me do, like, zero damage now. <laughs> you do two zero damage. damage. Oh. Minus two. You can't do less than one, though. Isn't that no, the rule? So like, nothing can one do... One point of damage, yeah. 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 So, you, the crossbow kind of, like, grazes one of its, like... 12 leggies and uh, that doesn't that yeah it doesn't really it's not very impressive Fair. uh davian all right oh the redemption yaks eight eight bonus action hunter's mark first yes. of all so there's not hex then hunter's mark <laughs> holy fuck dude <laughs> and then i shoot go for it <laughs> oh no Come on, come on, come on. 12. Oh, 12. No. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, you might fucking you, god. You need a 14 <laughs> or higher. This is the worst thing in my life. <laughs> As Damien ready his bow, just the, the small room, the big dome of twilight energy surrounding, surrounding him. <laughs> And it's the fact that it's a bit of a clusterfuck when everyone's just kind of just going at the same time. You try and take your shot, and it just it just flies past and just kind of impacts in the wall and falls to the ground. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Yikes. Is that your turn? Yup. And the plus, uh, I'm rolling incredibly well on these um, things. It's another max. It's another eight. Oh, what did uh, Jack get, by the way? Uh, he got eight. <laughs> right, thank you. Um, Kess. I'm gonna do this Eldred Frost Day again. Why not? Go for it. Ooh, nice. 19. Does hit, yeah. Okay, so that's uh detailable's damage. <laughs> uh 12 force damage. And ooh, yeah, six necrotic. Hey. There you go. Uh, so that's 18 points of damage total. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. Kess, get four HP. Four oh, HP. yeah. There you go. The last run. I'm in one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. Uh, dex save, right? Dex save was 12. Oh, fails. Oh, wait. No. Uh, yeah, 12. 12. Uh, for five points of damage. Five points of damage. All right. That my turn. That your turn. Uh, Daigon. Um, hmm. We'll just do two attacks this time. One is action. One is bonus. And I'm basically, it's like, I've started to scratch a chunk. I'm just going to keep going. I'm, like, I'm trying to get to your insides. Go for it. No catnip in that lizard. <laughs> First one is a dirty 20. Second is a 25. No. Hit. 
19 and 24. But yeah, both. Both hit. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, both of them do seven points each of slashing damage. Good shit. Okay. Though. All right. Uh, you can make it a, if your temp HP is lower, make it five. Or you can choose for it to be five. I can't keep the eight from before because it didn't hit me. You right? can keep the eight. That's how it works. I can, you can keep, keep the eight. eight. You can keep I'm, the eight. Keep, I'm keeping the eight from before then. Nice. Yeah. All right. Brooks. Next time, Because I baby. could just say you don't get it. First one is a 21. The second is a day 20. Both hit. So the first one is max damage, so 11. Okay. Second one is 5. So 11 and 5? Slashing damage. Gonna try pretty good, pretty good. All right. Double swing my axes into the side of it. Try and take it apart. Five's any better right. for you? You can take that. Temp HP. Um. <clears throat> remind me. Who was at the actual desk, like finding the letter? Was that you, Alasrin? It was me. Mm -hmm. I right. was at the like old. You were at the I desk. It. I read. I read it. And out. you haven't moved since, correct? I no. have not. I may have moved at, mo at most. I've moved five feet, and I was to back up slightly. Yeah. But even then, like I'm okay. So in that case, uh, I'm going to need uh, Daigon, Brooks, and Elazarin to make a dexterity saving throw as this oh, no. Behir opens its mouth and just a wave of lightning uh -oh. comes out in a cone. But I'm at its side. I guess it just turned its head and like, oh, yeah. fuck mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, come on. It's not a good time. But um, I'm a mug. I'm going to sh going to mug. I'm going to shoot my seven. I win, be doing same. This. Yeah. So, nah. What would you guys roll? I only rolled a 13. 13. Seven. Seven and 11? Yeah. None of you make the save, unfortunately. Damn. Of course. Ugh, who'd have thought? Unfortunately, he says with a smile. So I'm going to take like four damage. So five. you all take 13 points of lightning Yikes. damage. Ooh. Enjoy that. Why lightning? Why do you have to be like this? Why is it lightning? The tempest Why is it always lightning? Real helpful. Uh, and that is its turn. <laughs> so now, bless you. Bless you. It's it's uh, it's Jax's <laughs> You're turn. To bless us, he's the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna give him temp HP this time, uh, Koi Barno? Oh, I feel just did that. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> it's not me. It's Soko's character. Yeah, um, Jax. Fuck, man. Um, this thing has disadvantage on deck saves at the moment because it's hexed. Not saves, skill checks. Just skill checks? Oh, yes. Gosh. Hex doesn't do saving throws, it is just for skill checks or ability checks. Fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway. Which is a He's... weird thing to. I don't know. Like, it's a, it's a pretty combat, like, useful spell, but, like, the. Besides the extra damage you deal, the whole, like, disadvantage on skill checks in combat isn't Probably. very helpful. It would. It would that's really it, right? X skill checks would be great if I was grappling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grapp. Yeah, that's like the only example I can think of where an ability yeah. check comes to play in combat. <laughs> or a medicine, a medicine check. I suppose. I suppose. Really I suppose. Yeah. Imagine hexing there... somebody, giving them a disadvantage on a medicine check to stabilize their. Isn't friends. the touch, uh, hex? I can't remember what it's called. Isn't yeah. that saving throws? Maybe. I have no idea. It's uh, uh it's it's something cursed. I uh I used to have it, Gen had it, but I can't remember what it's called. I don't, I don't uh, know. Jax is going to load uh, another bolt into his uh crossbow. Uh, but instead of pulling tension on it, he's just gonna lay it on the crossbow and, and mutter some words. Ooh. And Ooh. Artificer shit. Cast a spell. Because I'm pretty mm. sure this is the way he cast this before. Um can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Of course. Three. Big three. That is a fail. Mm. Uh, so this uh, crossbow bolt goes whizzing at this horrible, ugly creature. It's kind of pretty, a little bit. No, it's not. And it takes uh, 12 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. How many? Sorry? 12. 
12. Oh boy, okay. Ooh. Nice. All right. Tempt me, oh. Coibs. Is that... Uh... Five. There we go. Yeah. That's... Davian. I shoot. I, I got the big score? rolling tray this is the now. One. So... <gasps> 17 to hit. That hits. <gasps> oh. You did it. A D8 and a D6. Both that new new. Mm -hmm. it... Oh. Hold on. Hold on. 14 points of damage. Ooh. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, this Behir, this this young Behir is uh, starting to look pretty rough, guys. Eight for Davian. Eight. Ooh. I'll just keep my current eight. Yeah. It looks better. All right. <laughs> uh, with that, this uh, one was a Kes, wolf, though. Yeah. Unless Davian wouldn't move anywhere. Uh. How how far am I from it? Like thirty feet or something. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. How far can I back up? Like another 10 feet, and that's, that's yeah, another. Yeah, I'll just move back. I'll move back 10. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, oh, shit. I need Kesslin. to concentration. Eldritch Blast and Hex. Aw, oh, hell Old yeah. Faithful. Yep. 18 to hit. That hits. Okay, good. Excuse me. Uh, 12 force damage. 12 points of force damage? Yep, and... Uh, four of necrotic. Four necrotic. Alrighty. Anything else you wish to do with your turn? No. I'm right. good. Uh, you want to roll 10 pitch before? Oh, four. Oh, uh, cool. I'll keep the four there. I have. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Daigon. Uh, wait, is this it the last thing go before me? Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, you're right. I just heard Corbett talk. I was like, oh yeah, last one's done. No, that's my bad. <laughs> Sorry. That's fair. That's Sorry. Fair. Uh, I'm, I'm just a sacred flame. I'm a little, I'm a little sleepy today. I'm sorry. He's <laughs> all good. Sacred flame. Dex save. Kobe, it went, ooh, that's enough of that. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, ooh, oh, man, that was from a 15 to a 5. I'm pissed. Uh, 6. Oh. No. <laughs> Uh, that's another five. There you go. Nice. All right. And I'm going to move Denver. slightly. After just being fucking hit by that, I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm just going to like, do you me? I'm going to kind of, did I see where the lightning went when it happened? Or was Make I too busy being intelligence check? Jesus yes. fuck. 17. Yeah. You you kind of uh, as you got struck by the lightning saw the area of effects and you'll you know where to move so that you won't be affected if it yeah. if it does it again from that exact position. Yeah, if it, yeah, that's what I sort of aim for. We'll just mm -hmm. well now if I move <laughs> to where that area is, mm -hmm. is everyone still in the dome? Um, yeah, like the, the, what's the what's the? I mean, it's thirty foot radius. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like the room is not very big, so oh, okay. yeah. Okay, you'll be fine. Then I'll just. And that'd be my turn. Okay. Oh, I get temporary HP. Hell nice. yeah. Hell yeah. Another seven. There you go. Now it's Daigon's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm mad because it electrocuted me. So I'm going to reach for the spear in my back, just like behind and pull it forward and just in two hand try and shove the very long blade into the area I've been already scratching away at. Ooh, okay. So it's a two handed attack with the spear. Ah! No, I rolled it off the table. Hold on. Trying that again. Oh, oh, dirty 20. Hits. Oh, uh, I need a D8 for that. Hi, yeah. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. Okay. Man, yeah, it is, uh, you know, <laughs> it is going down fast. Uh, is that your turn? Um, let me know. Here's what I want to do. You let me know if I can do it. Okay. Uh, instead of using movement, just like running, what I want to do is while the spear is still in it, like hands on the spear, but do a kind of like backflip. So I end up on the other side of it and then do, and then while I'm flipping over it, use my whole monk bonus on arm strike to like kick it with my claws on my feet. While I'm uh, the like to the other side of it, as in what, to what capacity? Yeah, like if this is its body and I'm on this side, Tarja, I want to then like the spears of and whoop and flip this way. So just and like just get on the around, other side of its move body. Move around its head yeah. essentially and go to the other yeah. side. Okay, yeah, sure. But by yeah. doing it going over top the back rather than yeah, walking sure, around it. Yeah, sure, sure. 
Like you're not Do you leaving want me to roll an acrobatics melee, or anything? So like, I'll allow that in your movement. Do you want me to roll um, anything for no, that? No, we'll just say that that, you, that that costs your full movement to do. That, yeah, I'm happy for it to be my full movement to do. It's fine. Because you would have, then, if you if you were to walk around Matt yourself, you would be able to make that. So we'll just say yeah. that, yeah. And the spear is still stuck in the side I just flipped away from. So I don't mm -hmm. have the spear anymore. Because okay. I used it as a thing. And then my bonus action, unarmed strike, to then go kick it on the other side with my foot. Yeah. No, that's a natural one. I used up all my cool you on the back jump. Flip let go of the spear and land and as you try to kick it you kind of miss and land pretty badly and kind of Yay. just like drop to a knee and just kind of oh, it's okay never mind I just, <laughs> no one saw that <laughs> i imagine thinking no one cats to get spooked and they kind of like jump all up completely and like <laughs> spread out like jesus <laughs> <laughs> um is that your turn yes that is and get six temp hp for your trouble thank you Imagine getting 10 At least the backflip looked cool. I just missed the attack. Yeah. yeah. You know. And it has a very long black spear just sticking out of one side of it now. Mm. Ask failed successfully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Brooks. I'm gonna swing at it with a hatchet. It's a 15 to hit. Oh, that hits. That's uh, 10 points of slashing damage. All right. Still up? Yeah. I'm gonna hit it again with my. Do other it. Hand. Finish it. Let's see, uh, Finish 17 it. to hit. That hits. Uh, for four points of slashing damage. Okay. As you're all like wailing on on this on this creature, it, it lets out these like and like these these jolts of lightning kind of like coming out of its mouth, but it is still it is still kicking. It is still oh kicking. Oh my god. Sleep. Your pie hole, you big baby. That is my turn. <laughs> you get eight temp. That eight is your eight. turn. That means it is now the Bahir's turn. Let's see if he gets his lightning back. He does. No. no. Uh, and he. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna like rotate. To oh, is he gonna follow me? To still catch you in that in that uh, to catch both. He's gonna rotate himself so that he can still catch like the three he hit before, like in God, that same uh, cone. The whole point of the flip was that we'd have to at least face the one. They'll both of us move, and we're like, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> creature, <laughs> creature, like, creature can move, <laughs> crazy. Well, I mean, he has a bendy, <laughs> serpenty neck, so he can do all sorts um, of weird so things. So I would like a uh, dexterity saving throw, please. No. Oh, natural twenty. Okay. Uh, saving throw. Yeah. 17. Nine. Okay. Uh, you take full damage, oh. Koiba, Brooks, and uh, Diagon take half. Hmm? I said you said Brooks and and I said done. It, it's oh, never gonna right, go. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> One day it will be funny. Today's not that day. Uh, okay. So ten points of lightning damage to Elazrin. Five to Diagon and uh, Brooks. Okay. It's not bad. What level do you get danger sense? Coming in clutch. Mm, in terms of barbarian or in terms yeah. of meat? Barbarian. Oh, well, what level do barbarians get it? Uh, two. But he's a one and one, I think. You're a one and one. Um, Jax. Jax is gonna. How hurt is it looking? Oh, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's looking pretty rough. I'm not gonna give you more. Fuck you. <laughs> And, but it's turned away from where he was to sort of hit the rest of us with lightning breath. It just, it just like rotated a little bit. Like it's still in the same okay. position. Oh, it just rotated. Go Concentration check. He's gonna Fuck. try and get behind oh, it, and he's gonna stash. Oh, that's twenty. I'm fine. His crossbow, and he's You're gonna good. pull out his mace. Okay. Make a swing. That's a fourteen. Just hits. He does three points of bludgeoning damage. Three points? Yeah. Okay. How do you want to do? No? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're just going how do you want to do off. this when you're not here? Four yeah. temp HP for, for Jax. All right. Davian. I shoot. You shoot. Oh, oh 26 to hit. Yes. Crap goes yep. wild. 
<laughs> Maximum good. fucking damage. <laughs> it's good. 17 damage. Oh. How do you want to finish this creature off? Oh. In the words of Narudan, oh yeah, <laughs> asked her mouth. I'm going to stand <laughs> front and center, and I'm just going to shoot straight in its fucking mouth hole all the way through. Shit. So as you fire the arrow, it, it goes into its mouth right as he opens it to kind of let out what seems to be another lightning breath. Uh, and as the, the arrow enters its mouth, you can see the lightning kind of like fizzling out and there's like just these, these bolts that are kind of like shooting out of its mouth. Oh, and it like arcs to the arrow as the arrow is like flying in and like <laughs> lighten it up. And the arrow just travels all the way down its 15 foot long body and exits out the back and just slams into the wall. As this creature kind of like starts moving left to right on his 12 legs and eventually just poof, collapses. Lightning still kind of fizzling out of its mouth, but eventually that goes dull. His bright blue eyes now just nothing but like pearly, like, like beady black eyes. As you seem to have defeated this Can you creature. Let me know, DM, when mm -hmm. 10 minutes has passed. Cause that's when my shield of faith will drop because i'm gonna try and keep concentration on that sure is it, um, it so, yeah. there's like water in here like what is there like no no it's just okay so i can easily recover all three of my arrows uh yeah i also go get my one spear. covered in beer guile and guts and whatnot how lovely how is everyone looking i'm fine i'm fine <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, she did it. Uh, um, I'm, I'm a little hurt. Like I could keep going and be fine until we rested for the day. But if if someone has spare resources in case we encounter anything else, like I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't say no. Where are you bloodied? I'm, I'm at I'm at seventy five percent health. I'm three quarters oh, yeah. good. <laughs> I would like to, I guess, inspect this. What did you say it was called? Bahir. It's a, a Bahir. Bahir. I would like to inspect it. Rather I would also that. like, to, would like to try it curiosity and not actual. I would like to research. try and ascertain <laughs> its like its age. Okay. Um, I don't know if I know the like nesting habits or anything of Bahir, if it's a young one, would it still have fellows? Would it have a, like a litter? Is it going to have brethren that are going to be a around? Nestmate. Or is it going to have parents? Right. Like... Okay. Make a... Just make a nature check. Is this snake from a broken home? <laughs> Yeah, the first milk. Can I just yeah. go ahead and both sniff the air and use my and give like a listen just to see if I smell or hear any more that are in the Make area aside check. from the dead ones? Okay. Nineteen on the nature check. Nineteen on the nature check. You know that behears uh, often get mistaken for wingless blue dragons, and you get why the the lightning, the blue scales, the horns on its head, like it's it's very dragon like. Um, but it definitely has more snake-like features than it has dragon-like features. Um, you know that, um, the average lifespan of a Bahir is anywhere between 50 and 60 years old. Uh, you determine that this one is pretty young, probably maybe 10 years old at max. Um, you know that... Especially if this is indeed a young one uh, that mom and dad wouldn't be too far. Um, you see the like nice. crevice that it kind of squeezed itself out of, uh, like in the corner of the room. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't look like something you can squeeze yourself through. It seems that the Bahir kind of like managed, managed to really just squish himself through a, a tight Yeah, how, how big is it? This, this Bahir in particular is about 15 feet long, about, uh, not long, not, not 15 feet long, uh, about 10, 
Yeah, yeah, 15 feet long. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I, this page has like meters and feet, and like, I'm confused. 15 yeah. feet long. Um, uh, like a good, a, a, a good five foot, like, in width. Yeah. Uh, with six legs on each side. Um, but as you kind of like give it a poke, it seems that the body mass is pretty, like, pliable in a way. Like, it's very squishy. Ew. Mm -hmm. It's a marshmallow dragon. Oh, like, the chamber that we're in. Yes. Is it, is it man made? Uh, the stairs yes. that became a ramp definitely were. Just like that if the stone is works at all, like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Is this thing rolled... supposed to be here or did it find its way in here? That's, that's sort of what I'm trying to figure out. You're not sure. I rolled a 19 on my perception check, by the way. Uh, as far as you can tell, as for now, it seems that the only scent you, you pick up is the one dead in the chamber. Okay. One last thing. So, it's snake-like, but <laughs> how yuan tea like is it? Like, would could you see that they're adjacent? Um... Could it be a coincidence? The... Typically, you know that uh, Behirs are pretty solitary creatures, um, especially when they reach adulthood. Typically, the only other creature it would be with is its mate. Uh, other than that, it is very, very... Uh, it doesn't really do well with other creatures, let alone people. You're not sure whether this one was captured and kind of planted here or whether this is just a coincidence you're you're not sure okay as i just sort of pick up my arrows and pick my way through this massive fucking mm -hmm. corpse oh any venom that i might be able to i don't think i have like a poisoner's kit or anything like that so maybe not did it seem venomous or was it just lightningy it's seemed mainly just lightning. -y. Okay. Right. I don't know how this thing got here. I mean, there's a crevice that it came through, but this is a man-made tunnel. I think the, I think it was put tunnel, here. Henry, or is it just that little section where this thing we assume came from? Um, I mean, it's hard to tell. It's just a big dark tunnel, to be fair. But... I mean... Yuan T, snake people, big nasty snake monster. Definitely They're not exactly dramatic. alike, but maybe someone who's not... Well, should we say someone who's a little too fascinated with the snake-like might have put it here. Mr. DM. Hello. How similar is over here to the uh, depictions of Seth that we've seen? Like, is it something that they would potentially reveal? Um, is it close enough that Brooks would be like, huh? No, like no. Okay. Like, the only thing that is in common there, it is big and snake like. That is really the only similarity between mm. the two. Are the stairs behind us still in ramp form, or have they become stairs again? Uh, during the the kerfuffle that was the fight, the trap has uh, reset and is now okay. uh, back into its normal like, stairway form. Is there any evidence that like people have fallen in this trap before? I mean, it doesn't seem like the easiest place to stumble across, but like this thing must have been eating, right? Uh, in this chamber, this chamber doesn't give you any idea of of. But then again, it did it did squeeze itself out of a crevice in the floor so who knows what's what's down there is the crevice in the floor is it like it can be like is it like it something that's been raised up and then like a hole come out or is it like it's just like naturally part of the floor and it just so happens to be um it doesn't look like mechanical in any way. It's not like right, something okay. raised up, and it right, seems yeah. that there's just a crevice in the floor that this behir managed to squeeze itself through as as he heard the, and then the, what the else sound of the trap being triggered. Is there like is there another like exit way? No, 
This uh, seems to be the only exit is the way you came in. Or if you could magically fit yourself into that crevice. <laughs> I'm going to get a good look in that in that crevice. Okay. Good, good peek. Got 300 foot dark vision. Make a perception check. You have the big dark vision. I'm going to say it's very dark, but yeah, make a, make a perception check. Ooh, it's bad. Uh, nine. You don't see much, but you smell uh, as you kind of like put your head like above the, 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 the crack. The scent of just dead animals. Rot. Just the rot, rotting flesh. I, I suppose I could check if there's any magic in this area. It'll take a couple of minutes, but I could... Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and I'll start ritual casting detect magic. Okay. Let's... How big is this chamber? Oh, your fucking thing's gone. Your shoulder face gone. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. That's right. fine. How big is the chamber? Hold on, let me look for you real quick to give you the actual... Uh... Measure money. At some point, tight extension does make a difference. And while you're doing that, I will okay. sign to Kess asking if she thinks that letter Elazarin has will be enough proof for Tranlil. Hopefully. I mean, we don't really have much more to go on, do we? Just the not. Room nope. Is uh, about 30 by 40 feet. It's not very. Okay. It's not the most spacious. Uh, so it's a room. thirty by forty foot room with an altar, like a shitty altar. Yeah, a like, desk. I think like it a, was. Like a or desk, it... kind of transformed into an altar. Transform yeah. a desk, transformed to look like one of those sacrificial altars, like you've seen in that previous Yuanti temple that you've been in. And nothing else. But a letter that uh, was found. As I'm mid thing, I'm gonna still talk. Just kind of. Um, can we see if, the if that altar can be moved at all? Check for the trap and see if there's a passage in it and see if it's he how heavy it is. You might be able to take it up. Gently, or do you want to just... I mean, the fucking thing? gently at first, and then obviously if you can't move it, fucking smash it up. And I'll just, like, uh, put my hand up, and, and then, like, put it down. And like point at myself and point at the desk and point at Brooks. Go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to imply I can help if needed, but uh, that's obviously that's the gestures I did. You can tell me if you understood or not. Sure. I kick the desk. Make a strength check. It's stone. Natural Fuck. twenty. Oh gosh, oh. twenty. You so... kick the desk, it just goes fucking flying uh, across, across, like, against the, the other wall, smashing Lady into D? pieces. Um, no anything besides a small chest that seems Ooh. to have been hidden there. I call dibs on the chest. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, I over to the chest. said those. Uh, I'm still fucking casting. <laughs> Is the chest <laughs> locked? Is the, Is the chest, chest locked? locked? Yes. Mm. Uh, no, it is not. I'll open it. Fuck it. Whatever happens. Oh, God. You open the chest. And roll the initiative again. Uh... Inside, there is a small pouch Ooh. with, uh, in there, five gold pieces Ooh. and a potion of healing. It's the base potion of uh, healing. Never mind, you can keep it. I don't really care. I was planning to anyway, but... Yeah, and I say you can. Well, there you go. Um, I will pocket both of those. All right. I'm mad. Why is there why is there nothing in here? Any secret any secret buttons? Like any <laughs> any levers, pressure plates, anything? Witches. Or maybe It seems that this room is, is really like all that meets the eye. Like the only like hidden thing was that chest and now that that it seems that this room 
if you found all that you could find. I've just well, had we're still an idea. waiting for Elazarin's detect magic whenever it's been ten minutes. He's ritual casting. Mm-hmm. So, we triggered a trap on the stairs that sent us down here. We. Yes. What if halfway back up the stairs is an actual room with actual things and the trap is just to feed people to that monster? I mean, suppose and we just be. got slid down here because of the trap, but really, like the actual the thing we're looking for is up there. Well, I mean, this was a it was a staircase, right, and then just a ramp, correct? Like, yeah, like well, the, right. the trap kind of made the staircase. No, no, no I'm talking to the DM, by the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, the yeah. staircase kind of like as the trap got triggered, the stairs just kind of like went like slanted, and it just became like a smooth like ramp it was down. A Scooby Doo yeah. trap. Yeah, I mean, much. it could. I mean, it could easily be that you know one of those sort of anyone comes prying and doesn't know, but wouldn't explain the letter and the desk being here. And it's a weird place to store a chest. In the chest. I'll I'll sign to Kess and say uh, in sign language, not. at the end of the day, we we got what she asked for, evidence that links them to the weird snake people. I think we have what we need. Agan says she thinks we have everything we need. So. Do we need it or not? I don't uh, see, I was just—I don't story. know. Maybe I was expecting something a little too obvious—a tunnel that just led straight to more yeah. or something. There's some way that they're getting into the city. It's not yeah, through here, though. People. I, no, I'll thought... sign. I'll sign again. We weren't looking for their way in. We were looking for a connection to the person. The person was their way in. They were feeding information. Weren't they yeah, uh... from the mall? Didn't one of the letters that one of us had said they were disguised or something? Fuck okay. it. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I feel like they're not coming in under the city. I feel like they're just strolling in. Both, probably. I very much doubt they're all getting shipped here in little storage crates. Right, it's just getting into the city is one thing. Having tunnels under wells and altars and whatever else is another, right? It's something. Um, I'll kind of I'll look at the letter that we got. Well, actually, no, I'm still fucking can't ignore me. I'm not, I'm doing. I'm not doing shit. I'm fucking casting a ritual spell. I'm right. concentrating on that. Fucking. Uh, I agree. I think we've got really all we could hope for. It's just maybe I was I just mean, hoping for a little more than this. Have we at any point actually established that? any of these altars themselves are are new like the tunnels i get but what if the altars have been here the entire time and the city was built on them and not the other way around i mean that's a very reasonable thought it's not like the cities have exactly been here a long time we just celebrated the 25th anniversary of this city existing and uh well i mean the beast we just killed has been alive for half of that I None think we can the... take the letter back, but I'd love to know this more point, about. Your, uh, your ritual cast will be will be done. Uh, cool. Let me know if there's any magic about. Uh, that, I mean, you can you can sense the the potion, the potion. that uh, Brooks pocketed. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I fucking that thought that might be, be the case. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, now you just sense that there's some something magical in in Brooks's yeah. Uh, yeah. belongings, like among <laughs> Brooks's belongings. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, and I saw him fucking take it. <laughs> so I kind of half thought. I, I didn't really hide I saw, it. I just picked I saw, it up and went. I saw him mention a chest, go, this is in here. And then now he has something magical. I'm like, cool. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a hide it. It was just yeah, no. a, it didn't consider. I like, can add two and two and get seven. I opened this, this is my <laughs> smile. I mean, right. like, looking Let's at that letter, it says they're talking about their heritage. I mean, I think that leads to Brooks's point quite well. Maybe that. These altars, these altars, obviously here first, and they want to. We're just well, by building this city on top of them. It's disrespecting their heritage. I, I don't know about that crude wooden one. That's, that's I mean, no, that could. I think that's a facsimile of. The I think that's series. maybe just as a right. Yeah. I'll also sign to Kess again. Say or... the letter also speaks of a plan that mm. suggests nefarious intent. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's true. Dagon says that the letter also mentioned a yes. plan. Yes, and it's the only way that they'll learn as well. 
As I'm kind of re reading the letter at the same sort of time, still just have it in my hand. Well, maybe it's a plan just... for an educational course. <laughs> yes, and most educational courses that probably end in blood sacrifice and snake pits. Snake pits. Don't know about you, but it sounds like a poor education system. I'm gonna start heading for the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> I'm right. gonna I'm gonna pop a letter into my um. Back. Oh, no. Okay. So you uh, you leave the room. Uh, climbing up, you find yourselves uh, in the basement of uh, this building on the grounds of the <clears throat> Imperial Trade Company. Um, you kind of like lifted tiles out of the floor, right? You didn't like just mm -hmm. smash your way through it, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. No, yeah. 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 So like the tiles that you moved out of the way, the floor tiles are still like stacked up. Um, the crates that you had to move out of the way are still are also there, and it seems that nobody has really. Well, been down that's... here since, I guess, partially because of the fact that there's a festival going on and no one is really working. <laughs> let's, let's put it back to how we found it. No shit. Crack on then. Some heavy slabs there. Have a go. I'll start moving I'll, very I'll carefully. Try. I'll do one. <laughs> Some heavy slabs. I mean, I'll just not. go I mean, lean on the wall like, somewhere. They're not like that's insanely that's... heavy, they're just like stone no, I'll tiles. Start moving, yeah, I'll start moving and try and place them gently how I remember them looking. Yeah. Um, about right. Like there, there's no like yeah. pattern or anything, they're yeah. just like bland. Uh... Could you help with a storage crate though, Brooks, if you don't mind? It's a bit heavy. I'll sigh and I'll walk over. And Thank I'll you. Leave the storage crate. <laughs> What's the storage crate actually heavy? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're full. Okay, thank <laughs> you. It was fucking Brooks empty. Brooks think it's heavy? What? Does Brooks think it's heavy? Yeah, I mean, yeah. There, it's a, yeah. Yeah. Heck, you They have some heft. He thinks they're store of, uh, full, uh, full of. But... Just because people that are strong, being strong doesn't mean that heavy things become light. It just means you recognize it's heavy, but can still lift it. <laughs> it still feels heavy. I, it exactly. wasn't that. It was more the Elazrin. It's weak. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic masculinity. Yes. <laughs> um, right. So, what do you do? Well, are uh, we done now? Just the ones of us who snuck in past people can get oh, back yeah. up quite easily. Didn't know how you guys are gonna get help, but I pretty much have a right to can just just say things like this. Yeah, when he said, as soon as he says, I don't know how you guys are gonna get out. I just do the. The cat thing, I'm just gonna like slink, I'll find a shadow and slink away and go to wait for my opportunity to reclimb the wall. It's like a large amount of effort. Nobody ever Remind me. you when you're leaving somewhere. Did you get rid of the ropes after you. I yes, he collected his rope back. I didn't okay. even use a rope. Good to know, good to know, good to know. He didn't use a rope technically. <laughs> no. Good to know. All right. So as you as you kind of like leave the building, um, mm -hmm. you still you still see those guys drinking at the table. Uh, the guards are still on their on their patrol, currently on the north side of the uh, compound. Is that where? Where was the door? What side? Uh, south. South. So the opposite side. Fucking. Yeah. Do 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 do. Just gonna. <laughs> as you walk past, <laughs> like those those like guys drinking, like kind of shout at you. Oh, has everything been blessed? Uh, yes, indeed it has. Right. Works is done. Sounds good. You no. want to drink? Oh, uh, not today. I've got to get back to the temple, then I can enjoy the festivities. But enjoy the rest oh, of the festival. Boring. Not, not until this evening. <laughs> and then I'll just... Leave. <laughs> Me? So, so like, yes, you, you three yeah. make your exit goodbye, just fine. Just Jack's yeah. in disguise with them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As a big old man. Yeah. yeah. Which I guess I that disguise he had on the entire like fight, so like doing yeah. that fight as well. It was like this 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 old. He's the fucking So the guard man. the guards are on the south side. North. On the north side, sorry. The exit's on the south side. You climbed over the east wall. Uh, yeah, but which way do the guards patrol? Clockwise. So they'll be going to east. the so east. So the next wall. stop would be east once they start moving So again. we'll just yeah. take the time to circle the building on the opposite. Yeah, like, keep the building between we, like, us. Make it across to the west side without being spotted. Uh, I mean, you also see that table with like the employees drinking. Uh, so they're you're not sure whether you would be able to make that cross without being seen, but you can try. I think we just circle nah. the building. 
so that we keep the patrol between the building between us and the patrol until they're on the west side or the south side and we just blitz it east and okay i, th I, I think we just wait inside the out the, the little building until they've done Same their rounds thing. rather we than trying to cycle they've around fucked off a little and we go back to where we came across right. uh after about five minutes of waiting the guards start moving to the uh, eastern side and then five minutes more they start moving to the southern side so after 10 minutes All right. let's go Fucking Brooks and yeet me over the wall, and I'll trail a rope behind me and anchor it so he can climb over. I will yeet him over the wall. Mike, strength check. And I'll just do my feline agility to double my climbing speed and just scurry on up there using my claws to grip. Yeah, you. Yeah, with that <laughs> climb speed. Soon enough, I'll be climbing as fast as you. You, right, you, just, you, you just, you just, just climb so over there, no problem. And you're, you're the first one to touch ground on the other side as well. What did you roll, uh, Brooks? 15. 15? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you give uh, Davigan a little, a little, a little <clears throat> as he f soars up and kind of like catches the top of the wall uh, with his with his one arm and climbs over. Do you? But you throw a rope down for Brooks, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You you and toss a ro you toss a rope down it. and you hop off the wall and climb down. I use the rope for this. Just looking speed. around in the alleyways. Mike can uh, make an athletics check. I win these. Natural one. No. <laughs> oh, no. You start climbing. No. The rope and like halfway through, you just lose grip and you just fall flat on your ass. Uh oh. I'm just there like, ooh. Does anyone know? <laughs> it got real light all of a sudden. Ropes. The guards do look, look in that direction and kind of... I would like for you, while you're flat on your ass, to make a stealth check with this advantage. <laughs> oh, if we have to come and bust him out of jail, Brooks I swear. Going to prison. With disadvantage? Is going to disadvantage, prison. Yeah. <laughs> 13? I mean, they're, they've been drinking. Oh, the guards haven't. Just the other no. people haven't. 13? Yeah. We got an 8 and a 9. They don't seem to see you. <laughs> oh. Hey! I press myself down into the ground. I roll a 12 on the perception check. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, would you like to try again? <laughs> I wait until no. I stop looking this way. Yeah. Uh, 14. Fuck it, I'll give it one more go. I'll try and go up the wall. Give me another athletics check, please. Uh, 22. Okay. 22, Ooh. yeah, with ease. This uh, second time round, you don't lose your grip and you you just, yeah, easy peasy. Make your way over the wall. Make a moment. Do you um, want to tell me what just happened or? <laughs> uh, one of them started looking this way, so I let go of the rope and drop down to the floor. They didn't see me and then I climbed back over. Sounds fair enough. Well, at least you didn't get spotted. <laughs> Put the rope back in my pack. All right. Make sure, just have a quick look around. We just fucking. Yeah, me up. I, I'd say we probably yeah, went where we like. You're good. Well, we were standing, having a chat about the plans. We were last time would have just walked okay. to and kind of yeah, looking at the fucking guide again, being like, "Well, we could go." <laughs> yeah, I've just dropped my minor illusion, so I look like me again. Spend All right. Entire walk. I need to guy self even. Grass and dirt off my shirt. <laughs> Nice. Right. We have the letter. Stand. And we have a supposed witness accounts of a giant fucking snake monster and an altar beneath the Imperial Trade Company. Well, used to be an altar. Well, right, yeah. Not, not, the evidence of. A, a fake order. But... but we have, I think we have enough evidence to show that there's definitely something going on. Yeah, I'll, more than ever. I'll, is it not. A member of the trade company that's it has to be someone who's close suspect, by yeah. it has yeah, to be the, somebody the, who the, 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 that person on the council is the suspect i what the head i don't know what her name is my... i do hold on uh i wrote it down in my so did I. my brain says that this isn't something that's 
recommended Primus. by an organization because it's not. Like no, not an organization, Prim but um... Primus, I, I, Primus Del Ashtar. Primus. Yes. Primus. Oh, Primus right. Primus Del Ashtar. Surely, surely someone in a position of power within this company would be able to just build a room that no one else is allowed to go in sort of thing, you know, like... Right, but what, I'm, what I'm worried that... about is why does someone who's in the Imperial Trade Company have any... Well, if that letter is from them, have any heritage of... If you aren't here. Snakey... Well, or whatever reason this that... has been here for 25 years. They come, they join in after 10, 15. They're still 10 years in the city. Knowing it, Maybe. learning it, ingrained it, in integrating, you know. You could do it on five if you really wanted to. On top of that, we're running on theory that these things have always been here, right? So, mm. as I can't thought. They've been here ever since I set foot. And that was a long time ago. So maybe the reason that someone would infiltrate the trade company is because they know that there's something underneath it that they want. Maybe someone came here. However many years ago, put that thing there and took whatever they wanted. Or oh, maybe it's they know that. It's striking to me that someone within the organization is somehow involved on this sort of level. Uh, it, it... I mean, I mean, maybe Trying... it could even be like they don't. They want to collapse it from the inside, collapse the trade, you collapse only. Yeah. Rather than know. signing to Kess, I'm going to try and see if I can get the group to understand me first. I'll just go like this with my hand like a snake and then mm -hmm. like point to like my mouth and mime eating and then hands up like questioning all right Daigon wants to drink and on with us so. oh, really and that, that, that just makes me like face palms so i just signed to guess <laughs> someone was feeding the monster <coughs> that suggests knowledge of the tunnel he's saying that someone had to know what was down there because it was fed yeah i mean the altar was put there I feel that it, was put there. These, these altars seem to be too conveniently placed to have been here before the city was built. Not necessarily. The stone ones are old. We don't know how many there are, though. There could be. The wooden one, I'm things. in agreement. I, yeah. No, I'm. am just more. I'm just more curious that it seems like someone on the on the trade company has got some sort of delusion that they're a snake person somehow. Maybe they that's had a that's really all this. Head. Right, well, maybe. I mean, it's maybe, not the wildest they... thing. It's a generation, at least. It was the year. Uh, not, not... Right, so they killed the Dragonborn guy to get into the house to shoot it. Yeah. And it warps her face then. Surely it's plausible that they might have done the same with someone else who happens to work here to get access to it rather than being something to do with a trade company before they were part oh, of Oh, you think someone like, might have usurped? Seat whoever was in originally in the trade company that you think they Maybe. took their identity That's I'd say that, that to me feels more plausible than someone getting to the age of 32 and realizing hey actually i'm a snake person well maybe they knew for a whole time they're in parts into the city mm. the rabid, yeah. okay but like oh yes that that's it, the, the the other ones we think might have been here before this Sympathetic to the cause is also a possibility, um, this, but I don't know one, how yeah. much common these you want to I'm speak. just trying to make sure we've got all, you know, don't want to start I, blocking I, off I, options I before we do. Crafting dude, let's come um, <laughs> with, so I assume we're walking and talking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yes, yeah. Heading to, um... Tranny house. Tranny yeah. house, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, back to the... the fact that the altar there was crafted implies to me that there was a reason that was there and not just... Like the others, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. in my opinion, they were just, that's where they were, and people have put things there um, to try and get I, access to them. But I signed a guess. Maybe we're being too literal. Maybe our heritage means the common religion or a worship of a deity rather than common blood heritage. Oh, that's that's a good theory, actually. Uh, Dagon says that Thank the uh, the heritage oh. could be um, religious, not <laughs> bloodline. That is definitely you say thing. that, but well, okay. I've never went like between. someone there could just worship the snake god the way the snake people worship the snake god. I've never See, really I was I was about to make a person. counterpoint, and then I realized that of course, in religion, you often have fathers, etc. The person mm -hmm. in the letter was addressed well, to mother. mothers. So I was well, thinking said, perhaps priestess. Perhaps it is a bloodline thing, but it could it could be a religious. Well, they said so they start in the letters. They they say my first, and then our. So. Could, could. Did, they refer, did they refer to a sibling in the letter? 
Mm, no. Siblings. no. 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 Yeah. We spoke about siblings. Yeah. Because it's. I'm hoping. You're, you're, didn't it say your only son or some shit like that? Yes. Much well, of no, your no, no, son. No, no, no. It's it's your, son. your son. Your son. Your son. And I was son. in my head. I was thinking. Oh, it could be yeah, son, father. Oh my god, dog and mother. Spoke. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> in in my head at the time, I was thinking. Oh, I imagine they don't have siblings. If you got to write your son. Actually, that's a good point though. I, I feel like mother would could be religious, but your son. That's very specific. I feel like something like yours. Well, I just kind of like make this gesture with my head, like being like, yeah, I'm, fair point. Okay. No, but we also know now that no, the person we... in question is male, first of all. Yes, true. We also, I mean... Is the Primus a male? I thought the, the Primus was a woman, but that Primus might be a... Oh, Primus well, is Primus it's... female, yeah. 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 Maybe Primus I, is the mother. I'll sign that to was mother. No, it's going. What if the Primus is actually oh, a snake on. man dressed I was as saying, a ones if, um, non snake woman? I mean, as you say in religion, father and mother makes sense as well to that. It could it could still be religious. Just because it says I, you're. I mean, you could say enough. son is. Again, son is used in religious. I signed to Kess and just go, oh my god, imagine Primus has a secret snake baby. Scandal. What? <laughs> what Front is. Frontline news. I'm, I'm not here. repeating that. I'm not repeating that. <laughs> yeah, just literally that parades out. around as a Primus of the trade company. Not I mean, it the could be was that... actually two Primuses in a trench coat. <laughs> two snakes in a Primus trench coat. Or two Primuses in a snake trench coat. I mean, it even if like the letter weird, is addressed to a blood relative, that doesn't make it no longer a, ca a course case of being religious rather than bloodline. It oh, could just be some son person's son becoming an extremist for the religion that that family shares right. so someone worship the primus God? has a son Why right? somebody worship anything and the son is a half yuanti and the primus i i just start furiously nodding yes because i like <laughs> <Right>. this idea <laughs> so so the primus <laughs> elopes with yuanti has a son <laughs> Would she lay an egg? Probably not. Has a son you that's half you auntie. Yeah, who is now he's a uh, he's a, a monster and he's hidden away and we couldn't find him, but he's down there somewhere. Oh it, no! The Primus's son is the Bahir that we killed. And he was the one writing the letters. <laughs> no. No. I love it. We did it, Grant. We found the first ever uh, literate Bahir. And we killed it. And we killed it. And now he'd be there, dead. <laughs> <We're coughs> Only literal because his half humanoid side, obviously. At this point, I would like to keep walking towards Trent. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like this is. We're yeah. walking and talking, and I just stop <laughs> everyone to go, the Bahir is the promise's son. <laughs> we, we, at this <laughs> point, we've gone from really <laughs> like theory like crafting to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that, you know, some like, some, like festival goers walk by and go, oh, I'll have Elise Evan. At this point, we're like tinfoil hats, like the government fakes the moon landing. <laughs> oh my god, the government of bees. The government we're the, the anti vaxxer, microchip the government, or lizard people. By lizard people. Oh, oh, snake people. Oh, oh my god, they literally are! <laughs> oh, this is the worst ever. <laughs> The fucking <laughs> altar under the t city is a government cover-up. <laughs> the Illuminian. Oh my god. The, the Illuminian. The only cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, found this it. Great. Found the real this life connection. Great. We did, fuck, we, did we did it. We did it. We did it. Fucking Jesus. In the campaign with oh, Jesus. Yeah. Case closed. <laughs> Illumi Yuan T. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. I, I, I dig that. That's, That's, right. That's a good one. Lie. That's, um, anyway, that's gonna be the campaign big bad. As you are kind of like theory the crafting the among yourselves, uh, that's a good one. That's a, yeah. that's a good, that's a good. As you're kind of theory crafting <laughs> among yourselves, you do make it to the uh, the house of the um, the emissary Tranliel. Uh, as you get, as you give the door a knock, the door swings open, and uh, Tranliel stands there, still wearing the same robes that she was before. Um, and, and asks you, so what did you learn? Does the Primus have a son? <laughs> Not as far as I'm aware. Why? I'll pour out this letter. <laughs> she like grabs the letter and reads it through. You found this? Well, at least the suspicion of somewhat of a traitor was right. We don't know who this person is, but... Yeah, we um, um, we found the room you were talking about under the basement, and um, a giant snake thing was there. So a we had to kill it. 
That's what it, is that what it's called? Under our yeah. I, 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 point, maybe. I point to the blood still on the spear tip that is back on my back. It's sticking out that I probably should have cleaned, but I didn't. Oh, well, thank you for getting rid of that. Um, You're welcome. Pest, I suppose. Someone, we think someone was feeding it. It definitely had food. Mm. There was a trap that slid us down there, so... So there was a room under the... Mm -hmm. the there was a makeshift right. altar, not to, like... Similar style looking, but mm. definitely not from, you know, stone materials. Not wooden. old. Not old. We destroyed okay. it. Um, this letter. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Might take a little while, though, but... It's worth it. Uh, but first... Um, I'm gonna need, I'm going to need someone, and she like calls a guard, like kind of like snaps her fingers. A guard comes, and sa she says, "Go fetch Orvo for me, please." And the guard salutes and and dips out. We have records in this uh, uh, in the keep that I'll uh, have someone fetch uh, momentarily. Every person that has purchased a home in the city, the author of the letter is a citizen. Orvo might be able to compare the handwriting to. The handwriting, one of the documents that they wrote. It's been quite difficult. Um, well, I mean, if you want to help, if you if you have a knack for, but Orvo is the owner of the um, the snapped quill, and he um, uh, is a bit of a calligrapher on the side. Like he he does he he likes his his handwriting and and that sort of thing. So it's worth a try. Until then, um. Feel free to stick around. Uh, Orva will be here momentarily. I'll make sure that I send the guard as well. But I suppose I did say I would reward you for any evidence found, and this is good enough. Also, hmm? without a trace, I'd like to just Very let good. you know. No, no one knows anyone was there ever. We found a hidden chamber, killed a giant monster. Well, I, I mean, that might be a dead giveaway. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dead I would have said that giveaway. I nod and signed to cast, well, they'll know when someone finds <laughs> the dead snake. It died of natural causes. It's natural to die after taking that many wounds. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, still nothing will trace back to anyone you know or we know. That's very mm. good. And she kind of like... Snaps her finger again. Another guard comes, and she tells him to go fetch the uh, paperwork, and he dips out. And the keep is like right across the way, so he's back within a few minutes. Um, here's your payment for the job well done, very well done, I might add, if I'm to believe what you're saying. And she hands everybody fifteen gold pieces. Fifteen. And at that point, uh, the guard is already back with the, with the paperwork, and the door swings open. You guys see enter the establishment a a small male halfling with frizzy brown hair and tiny spectacles on his nose. Um, and uh, Tranliel immediately hands a box of documents to Orvo, hands a letter to Orvo. It's very important that you compare the handwriting and try to determine whether or not um, this individual is a resident of the city. Uh, try to keep your mouth shut about this and you will be paid handsomely for your efforts. Orvo kind of looks and looks at, looks at you all. It's a lot of paperwork. Are they, uh, could they help, maybe? I don't... Answer your paperwork. When it comes to... It's your field of expertise, Master. When I can't read. When it comes to the analysis oh. of handwriting, <laughs> what type of skill is it? Uh, intelligence. I'm very good with handwriting. Mm, I can't read. So, I'm not going to be much help if I can't I read. I mean, I'm a above average reader, but I don't know how I'm good at discerning differences in All right, handwriting well, text. fair enough. Uh, and um, he kind of like sits down on a chair at this like round table that you're standing at and he starts going through the paperwork and just and he sits there for a good let me have a little look see <laughs> for about an hour and a half are we waiting for him i don't know are you are we are, are we like as a group are we gonna sit and wait for this guy 
How far are we from a gate out of the city? From a gate out of the city? Yeah. Uh, We're like dead center, aren't we? Are yeah, you're mm -hmm. pretty dead center. What? I mean, I how out. how close are we Did to like a, like the waterway or something? You know, if you said that was like like a beach or whatever it was, you said that was like a. That was a river, right? Oh, river. a river. Yeah. Oh yeah. How close are we to that? Are we pretty. I mean, uh, you open your map. Surrounded by it. Uh, yeah, yeah map's okay. it's easier if you just look, oh, look at that. So you are currently okay. on like a little island in the middle of the city that is surrounded oh, by okay. said river. Also, and... I want to quickly sign to Kess and I'm like, you can read, right? That was a joke? Question mark? Because you, you talked about your father's books. I'm going to I'm gonna sign back. Of course I can read in multiple languages. I just don't okay. want to stay here and do work. Yeah, I signed back. Okay, I thought so. Just check in. <laughs> Hoping Orvo doesn't know sign language. I will. I will go to the uh, the archery range that's at the keep, and I will fucking shoot some okay. arrows. All right, fair enough. I will. I will say I'll. If it looks like. <coughs> Bless you. What's everyone sneezing fucking... tonight? God damn. I mean, my allergies have been awful lately, so that's my reason. It's dusty in my room. Dusty. Quite <laughs> stinky. That's stinky. All. Yeah. Um, I mean, if it looks like we're staying, I'll fucking help. <laughs> Okay. But like, if we are staying to wait for the results of this, I will yeah. assist because handwriting is yeah. something I'm very good at. There you go. Uh, make an intelligence check, the both of you, then, in that case. Do I get any. Ooh, fucking fuck. 18. This because I'm... Do I get proficiency in this because of my background? Yes, you do. Hey. 18. 18? 18. 18. Me. Yeah. Hey. I rolled a quiver roll. There you go. Well, okay, so if you uh, do decide to help, it, the mm -hmm. time spent will be significantly less. Let me just re roll that. Okay. You rolled equal. You rolled, you rolled the same, right? Yeah, both 18. Okay. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'd like for you both to make another one. Ooh, he's going to find it. And Orvo will as well. Eight. See who finds it. 15. 15? Mm -hmm. What did you roll, Beanie? 8? 8. It's just intelligence check, oh, right? I just just flat, flat add intelligence, right? Yeah, flat add intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 15. All right. You, Elazarin, as you're going through the paperwork, <sighs> the letter, like, kind of, like, in the middle of the table next to you, 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 start, you, you find a document that uh, is partially a contract with a signature to sign for uh, a house. But it seems that there's also, in all of these documents, um, there's there's paperwork where it seems that people have kind of, especially in the initial stages, had to like apply in a way to to mm -hmm. be able to come to this new place because of the lack of space. Not everybody can just willy nilly move here. There's a bit of a yeah. waiting list, and uh, there was like a written motivation, mm -hmm. and that handwriting. Um, looks a lot like like it's the same like hastily scrawled manner the a lot of similarities in handwriting what was um, the motivation to be i was to gonna say was in fact a giant snake yeah um, yeah what, what yeah. was in the what does the original notation is a pretty fucking standard boring shit like oh, yeah, it's good family like, mm. or is it like anything where, like where, names where, outline where, where, i'm gonna be such a good citizen um, yeah, so yeah good. exactly yeah there's no there's no like names that jump out by to recognize being like i know this I person who lives here uh, but this cool. document is signed mm -hmm. by a man named Jeremiah Silbrook. Jeremiah... Oh, Silbrook spell. S-I-L, Brook. Okay, that's how I thought it was. Only one L, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it is, is a document, a contract for a, a home in the residential district to the north of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, number 38. North. Number 38, yeah. Yeah, I will go over to Orvo and like, um, could just double check if this is similar enough, and I'll kind of pass on the paperwork. Just want a second opinion. He uh, he looks at it, looks at the looks at the letter, and keep like you see his head like keep going like, yeah. and he grabs like a like a like a little like quill and kind of like traces yeah. some of the like lettering. Yeah. How long did it take them to do this? Even with this, the cut about down twenty, time? about about twenty minutes. Okay. Would I have had time while they were doing it to run out and just 
follow my nose, find the nearest vendor of food and whatever it is, just buy some and bring it yeah, back. Yeah, it would, would involve you to quickly like cross the bridge yeah, yeah, off, yeah. Uh, off this like little island. But yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll 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 have done that while they were doing this, and have good, brought some for everyone. Okay. He kind of looks back and forth. It's pretty impressive. You uh, you looking for a job, perchance? Uh, uh, not unfortunately. One hmm. has their service servitude to the to the church. To the church. Fair enough, understandable. But, but right. however, I will happily assist. Can random question? Because since Davian's not here, he's the only one. He went to go practice mm. archery. Yeah. Can the food I found yeah. just be some sort of like hand pie or pasty that transports easily? Because then yeah, I can sure. save one for Davian when he gets back. Absolutely. Okay, and how much would it would I have spent buying that? For uh, for I would have bought those... one for Orvo too. You bought one for Orvo too. Okay, so yeah. seven, uh, two silver a pop. So that is one gold, four silver, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Math. Okay. Math, the true core of D and D. Mm. Cool. Math. I do that. Then. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Orvo, oh. like as as you present him with the 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 the, the past the past tea. Eagerly takes it and starts nomming as he kind of, as he was like, kind of like still going through the paperwork. Is the emissary nearby? Uh, yeah, she's she's oh, cool. she's around. Oh, cool for her. I'm I think we found something. Have you now? What do you know of a uh, Jeremiah Silberg? Um, not much. Came to live in the city. Um. With his parents at the time, I believe. No, 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 he didn't. Jeremiah Silbrook, you yes. said? Yes, number 38. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I have no idea. Number 38? I couldn't tell you. I, uh, I do know a Silbrook, but that's... Who's the other Silbrook? Um, Every information we have about these people, they're better. A woman... Um, came here pretty much as soon as the city settled, um, but didn't stay long. I'm not sure why. Cast Mutter? Who knows? Maybe. Didn't stay long because they were kidnapped by snakes. <laughs> or the snakes. Drawing. Money penny. Yes, sure. yes. <laughs> nice okay, my snakes. It seems Jeremiah's mother was kidnapped does it, by snakes. Does it say on the paperwork... <laughs> On the paperwork, does it say when he got the application through, like, the starting date for his house? Do you know how long he's been in the city? Um, you know that he has owned this particular house for yeah. five years. Five years. Yeah. Cool. Oh, like, any information I find, I'll relate okay. to the group. All right, so it seems that we have a lead. What do you want? Once Doing again... A I'm asking for your financial support. <laughs> Once again, I'm asking for you to go on my behalf. I would appreciate your help in apprehending this individual. Um, just, uh, I would ask of you open. to investigate his home, find him, bring him to justice. They'll make sure that your next reward will be more than just a coin. Hmm? I will... No shit. Yeah, we will return him. I mean, I think I think once we found it, I would probably have called out to like get a, tell the guard to go fetch or something. But, like, yeah, okay. Or, yeah, we'll or so, like, or just or Davian get or call out. I don't know how far yeah. away it is. Yeah. Yeah. But... While this is all going on, mm -hmm. when we're sifting through all the handwriting, yeah. If I see anyone interesting that I would know or recognize, yeah. Make a uh, make an investigation <laughs> check. That's the DM face of. 20, oh, don't ask me. Natural twenty. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. <laughs> I've been typing. Can you can say invent... yes and tell me later. Like I don't need to no, know no, now. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But if there's someone who's on the fly, or looking back. Like you mean in regards to your background, right? That is in that regards what you're to getting at. Uh, like what, in what regard that you would either... recognize? Me? Either my background or someone of prominence within the city. Either one of those. If it's someone that I know, mm -hmm. I think it might be beneficial to know what their handwriting looks like. 
So either someone that you know or someone that you might want to know is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Someone that I think it would be beneficial to know what their handwriting looks like. Yo, we just find Tranliel's contract and like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. Um, you find uh, the contract that is about that is that is uh, signed by the leader of the fuck. Hold on, let me give me just a second. Don't want to fuck this up because I'm going to give you misinformation now and I have to rectify that later. I found a goodie. The leader of the High Sea Protectors, uh, I... someone just called Black Paw. Um, okay. You know that the high, sea, you know, obviously, you know the high sea protectors are like the the, the navy yeah. of this city and and the and like the imperial navy, but a, a, a division specifically to keep the docks of Aldilon safe and the waters of Aldilon safe. They have it. Does it have a signature as well? Oh uh, yeah. Do you share this at all? Or do I this... think this is something that I could commit to memory, or do I need to like? Uh. Yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Um, you also know that this individual is one of the council members that rules the city with uh, Tranliel, so this is definitely a, a person. I would like to memorize high his regard. signature. <laughs> Blackpaw, his signature is just a little paw print, like <laughs> it's drawn. It's not like an actual paw print. Oh, he draws it. He he draws himself. <clears throat> it's just a little smiley face with like a, a dog tail behind it. Still cat Okay, uh, I would like to memorize that and then just shove it sure. back into the pile. Okay. Oh. Um, Tranliel uh, pays Orvo for his work, giving him a coin purse, and he leaves. Um, I would appreciate um you. Okay, before you before before you um make up your mind if you're going to or not. Uh, regardless, do we think? This has anything to do with Primus Dalashtari of the Imperial Trade Company. Was there any evidence that points in that direction or not? Other than it being... no. Other than it... Well, or fortunately... If Jeremiah is our culprit, it could just be an employee that, that works there, no? The... I mean, or it could be someone hired to be... I think the Primus Fall could... Guy. Primus could 100% still be involved. It... I would say, don't rule out the possibility, but it's definitely not a, a lead suspect in any way. There's no Indeed. suspicion activity, but keep an eye out, I suppose. That's good, that's good. The way um, that this this thing was hidden, who knows? to me, implies that it was done by an individual and not an organization, but that doesn't mean that it isn't. You right. know, anyone within this organization, I just feel like someone of leadership would, you know, maybe make it a bit more official than a tunnel under some boxes. Again, full guy. I do appreciate all of your help so far, and uh, like I said, uh, if you are willing to find this individual and bring him to justice, I'll make sure that your next reward shall be more than just mere coin, um, something a little more interesting, valuable. But that would imp I would appreciate you bringing him back alive, but if he puts up a fight and you have to defend yourselves, then obviously... I'm not gonna I have stop a knack. You. I have a knack for bringing people back in. So I've heard. All right. Well, um, suppose your next lead would be number thirty-eight up in the northern residential area. Um, it mm -hmm. is getting quite late. So if you would want to just enjoy the last few hours of the festival, have a few drinks. Uh, I don't blame you. I, I thank you yes, for your service so that. far, and that sounds like a wonderful. Look idea. forward to. Catching the individual that tried to kill me. That'd be nice. <laughs> that ain't smart. Yes. That's fair. Thank you very hey, much. Stash, let's not get too hammered, guys. I kind of wink mm. as I say that to them. As I look, kind of turn back, like, let's not get too hammered. <laughs> oh, and if sure Davian's, about me. Since Davian's back now, also while they were talking, I just hand him the food that I bought earlier. Little pasty. Mm. Icky little pasty. Very nice. <laughs> So, with that in mind, as you have a few more hours, the sun has now set. It is definitely evening now, early evening. What do you want to do? As we walk, start just leaving. Mm -hmm. Like, I assume going to a, a pub or some description. I kind of look at Brooks as I say oh, that. I go, is it 
is it worth i should we don't want to raise suspicions we don't ask about do we we keep our heads down and just enjoy this evening or do we ask around in the drunken state i think maybe it'd be better to ask around a little slowly i know a few people that can i can have words with but for now let's just enjoy the evening oh crawl Oh, you seem to be quite well. The, if we start asking questions, there's a mm. chance that it gets back to him and he goes yeah. into hiding mm. somehow. So. Yeah, that's why. I, I am going outside the fucking walls of this city for a while. The festivities tonight will adjourn at the Weeping Monk. So I'm mm -hmm. sure I will see yep. you all there if no one wants to join me. Yes. We can definitely enter the Weeping Monk if that's where you're going to meet us, yeah? I can plan around that's, that. That's that's where the festival is ending tonight, so makes sense to meet there. Don't go, don't wander off too far, Devian. But I'll see you. I'll need to see a fucking tree, or I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> if you don't come don't back, blame then you. I'll have a drink to your memory, and I'll break into your room. There's nothing in there. All right. So, um, your are you going maybe? on a pub crawl? You lot. Yep. Fuck yeah! I'll, I'll look right. at Brooks For the and just be like, purposes of this, um, is there any drinks you specifically want to order for uh, the party, yes. uh, Brooks? I have, so I have a specific. I'll be quick as I can, but I have a specific order that I want to do. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Go ahead. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, we so we wanted to end in the weeping mug, so we're going to walk from here. Where we are currently in the center of the city, we're going to head northeast. We're going to go up into the residential district. We're going to head to the friendly giant. And hmm, uh, Davian's not here. Um, Jack seems quite miserable, so I will let him order whatever he wants. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> What am I gonna get for everyone else? Right, brother, brother, right, brother, very quickly. Brother. Does anyone have any alcohols that they absolutely detest? Anything they prefer to drink? I know. Uh, Dagon, you mentioned is mentioned the white word when it's not verbal. You implied that you didn't really have a preference in alcohol. We will fix that. But <laughs> you too. Uh, you know, I mean, like, like a like good, drink? like a good red wine over white and past that um i'm not exactly difficult in my alcoholic choices tends to be nearest is good enough i think too sweet though white. Mm. do you want something mixed with red or do you just want straight red wine I mean, mixing something with red seems like a crime, but I'll give it a shot. I suppose why not? It's a festival. <laughs> you're either going to love this or hate it, but either way, you're going to finish it and be very drunk. Yes. Um, I've had Perfect. things I've never drunk before, but nothing that I've ever tried and not enjoyed. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, first one, while we're here, <laughs> I will get... I mean, we're in Friendly Giant. Mm -hmm. I will get... Uh, a Lazarin, I will get a Lover's Quarrel. Do you want to describe these or do you want me to do it? Go for it. This is your thing. I Go for it. I mean, over. you don't have to fight in front of us. You can just do it later. It's fine. <laughs> in the privacy of uh, your room. <laughs> yikes, guys. Uh, I will bring him over a Lover's Quarrel, which is... Um, it's like a, a tall uh, wine glass and like the top half is red wine. But there's this like deep brownish undertone to it um, and as you like tip the glass it sort of doesn't completely mix so it has this like it, it looks like a very stormy like red sea uh it's red wine but it's got a mix of uh it's got a mix of like whiskey uh sugar or syrup and lime at the bottom it's not loads it's like 80 percent wine and just a little bit but it's very strong um fortified wine but yeah not like a fortified, fortified wine. wine but like a fancy version um, I will get Cass. I will start her off with something. I'll do it because she'll probably hate the name of it. I will get her a damsel in distress, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is white wine with like a uh, pomegranate juice in it. Dude, that sounds delicious. 
It does. I'm reading it. Like IRL, <laughs> I could go for that right now. I will. Uh, Brooks at this point, I'll probably just get a uh, Hellhound, which is the like same dark, uh, very caramel cider. Caramelly cider. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, once we finish those, uh, while we're there, a Lazarin, a hundred percent, like very middling. He doesn't. He doesn't seem doesn't, to. He he's... doesn't hate it, but he's not like. He, it's something he like. Great, he'll have what it. Did I get. Oh yes, I need to get something for Dagon, and I can't ask Dagon preferences. Okay, um, let's got try two thumbs Dagen. up on the card of dust. <laughs> uh, we will get. We'll get Dagon a beer to start. We'll get Dagon a smokestack. Uh, what which kind is of a, beer is that? Uh, it's like a beer that's made with uh, malt, uh, but it's been. Uh, the malt itself and a lot of the components of it are dried over a fire, so it's like a beer with like this really heavy, smoky flavor. Okay. It's the sort of thing that like your granddad would drink on like Christmas <laughs> Eve. Okay. Uh, while we're here at the Friendly Giant, while I'm over buying drinks, I'll have a word to Cav. I should be like, I suppose you happen to know a lot about them. See a lot of people, right? Shouldn't you know a lot of people that are around here? You kidding me? Residential district pub, it makes sense, right? Like, of course. Well, yeah. what, what, what do you want? Looking for someone called Jeremiah. Apparently, he was looking for me. Jeremiah, um, you never think. Um, Um, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bloke, he, um, comes around there every once in a while, I haven't seen him in a, in a few months, but, uh. I necessarily want him to know that I know he's looking for me, so. I mean, What's I haven't seen like? him in months, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's a bloke or... named Jeremiah that, that came here from, from time to time, yeah? Why? Trouble, good, um, dickhead, dick well. Quiet, doesn't really like talking to people. He, um, I don't know, really. I haven't really said much to me besides his order, and that's about it, really. It's like a weird sort of place to come if you don't want to say uh, The only thing about him is that he, he's masked up most of the time. Like, he doesn't really show much of his face, but hasn't caused any issues, so. so Didn't really think much of it. Wear? What sort of mask? Um,. It's like, it's kind of like, you know, like a scarf around his, around his face, but it, um, really all you can see is his eyes. There's yeah, not much yeah. else there. He's a snake boy. He's totally going to have a snake he's now. A snake boy. He's a Dude, snake he's, boy. He's, He's gonna be Katakuri from One Piece uh, with like a I scarf will, all the time, and then her reveal is just like fang, I will big ass drink. And I will, uh, I'll tip Cav uh, a couple of gold. Sounds like the chick from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, tip him a couple of gold? Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have a tab at the moment anyway, but yeah. this is like a, you know, this is you. Shit stays between us, clearly. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, how much did it drink? Ah, fuck it. I'll put the drinks on my tab. The tip will st I'll pay that later. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You will. Maybe. Maybe you I'll come back and pay that later. Get kneecapped by like the three very large women. Uh, small tiefling. Two very large women, a very large man, and a small tiefling. Uh, okay. Next up, elegant carafe. This is definitely more your sort of. Did you say it's called elegant room. carafe? Yes. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah, so I stayed the night here before. Yeah. How long? Crazy, so I don't necessarily. Hmm. How long did you stay here? Only, only one night. Music's one nice though, bit. and for a wine snob like you, this is the perfect place. And by the way, <laughs> what sort of wine do you drink? And don't bankrupt me. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing top of the range. I'm not gonna... I will go pick him Please. like a mid tier couple of gold bottle of wine. A couple of gold bottle of red. wine? Yeah. They don't have anything like the cheapest bottle of wine. I thought this was the expensive place. 
Yeah, the cheapest, a couple of golds, but the cheapest bottle of wine is like five gold. Oh. That's okay, the then I will get... Don't, don't worry, I'll pay, I'll pay for... Don't, don't worry, bottle of gold. Bottle of wine, sorry. A bottle of gold. What was that? Sorry. Gold. What's like the mid-range bottle of wine? Mid-range? Like, like, anywhere between 10, 10 and 15 gold. I'll get one that's like 15 gold and I'll split it with him. And I'll ask right. the other two if they want this or I'll give him different. I'll give him five gold. I'll give Brooks five gold. I'll pay. Seeing as he's only having half of it. Dagon, guess you two. I mean, a cocktail or a bottle of wine. I just shrug my shoulders. Have you ever had wine before? Different. Uh, I, I, I look, I, I look like I'm trying to remember, and I start counting, and I just like do the I shake on my hand, like I think I have, but I can't remember. Only like once or twice. Have you ever had good wine before? Oh, uh, I, I look at Kess because I wouldn't know. <laughs> Are you looking at me? I don't know a lot about wine in these areas. I just signed back. Well, you probably were exposed to it more than I have. Wine no, wasn't no, no. really big among where I grew up. Where I grew up, all the people I lived with made our own wine. We made made everything ourselves. Hey, Although to be honest, we didn't eat a lot. Hillbillies. I am not familiar with that word. Like um, traveling folk, folk but like. Honest traveling folk, like the sort of traveling folk that turn up at your house and and leave with half your garden. No, none of my people are like that. We have we have some people who who travel a lot, but they rarely stay with our clans for longer than a few weeks, and they go off again and start traveling. And that's pretty much the only change that we have. Sound like a long way of just saying no. Drink the wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will give everyone a glass of expensive wine. All right. I paid you five gold back. I gave you five That's gold back. <laughs> and get hammered on mediocre expensive wine, I guess. There's no guarantee it's good. It's and all right. Like, it's definitely not the best, but you didn't pay for the best, did you? It's 15 gold. Like, it's... Yes, but they... It's good. But like to to the, the average person, it's probably still good, like good wine. Mm. But us wine oh, yeah, snob this... is like it's okay. Yeah, this is for, for its price point. It's probably one of the better wines, but however, it is still <laughs> in the lower price range. Uh, there you go. Uh, Lazarin's out here doing like wine it's reviews. Bad, in no. the, local, the nose isn't very local good on this one. Fucking... He's like swelling it in his glass and like yeah. breathing in. Sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. The nose Excuse and then the was... other. What the what freezes. month of the year was this corked? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that was okay. a good year. We had a lot of humility. <laughs> unless, unless anyone wants to stay for anything here. I mean, the music's yeah. all right, but. No. All right. No, next I don't one. Like Let's it. go. Uh, so I will lead everyone uh, through the city, uh, down past uh, Kelsey's adventurers and the uh, high seas protectors and as we uh, pass the... by the Kelsier's adventures guild does it look like there is any more security than usual or does it look about the same make a perception check i i want to do the same thing can i check as well sure uh 24 um, 23 12 plus what's my skill ability for perception oh yeah it's plus six so like 18 it seems that there's uh sorry uh definitely uh a couple of guards that are there just to make sure that nothing happens to that guild hall yeah okay i just i'm just gonna like put out a hand to high five with dagon high five just, very, you know, just high five <laughs> thank you for going. idea what that was about but okay uh we will get to the murdy bowl which is a bit of a shithole but um do, 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 do. Right. Okay. Um. To be honest here, you don't really want to mix anything with a cocktail because it's not going to be. It's not going to be good. But, um, what do you say the place was called that we're at right now? The muddy boat. Okay. It's in the. Uh, it's down by the docks. Yep. I will. Report. I will get Lazarin a Brightwood Ale, which is one of the drinks we had at the drinking competition. 
I will get Dagon a Stormy Sky. What's that? It's Ginger Beer and Rum. It's... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I will get... Just because I would like to see how she reacts. Oh, I yeah. will get Kes a Traveler Stout. Which gets put down in front of you in, in two glasses. You have Wait, like a... Called? Traveler uh, Stout? Traveler Stout. Uh, so you have like a mug that's like three quarters full with just water. Ew. And then you have out. like a... It's essentially like a shot glass with like this very thick viscous liquid in it. Like Guinness concentrate. <laughs> like molasses. <laughs> molasses. Yeah. But it has to have alcohol in it because there's no alcohol in the water, presumably. Yeah, I mean Guinness, Guinness is stout, right? Yeah. I think so. Why oh, does do this you look like, like Irish like... cob on it? <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. I just it's kind of cast. The subject cast unless she asks. If, if Kess doesn't immediately okay. drink oh, it, bummed. I'm just going to sign, oh, I could use the hydration and go to drink just the water. Because <laughs> immediately it stops her and it's like, I don't understand what this is. What is this? Explain. Explain yourself. <laughs> so now I'm holding the water, but I haven't drank it yet. I'll, I'll, while Dragon's holding the water, I'll pick up the uh, like thick, viscous liquid and I will drop it into the water. And it it like, it's this really thick, almost like syrupy like um like golden syrup where you pour it and it sticks to the side of the can but the moment it gets in the water it starts to like just fizz up a little there's a little bit of a head on it but mostly it just dissolves into the water um it's traveler style not had this before it's this means nothing to me common no nope. if you're traveling you said you travel we travel a lot, but we don't often get to stay in town. It's, it's the Vimto of beer. I just wrinkle <laughs> my it's, nose it's and hand it back to Kes. But, and I'm like, yeah. I don't want it anymore. I go to yeah. drink the drink he bought me instead. <laughs> but it's uh, it, it's quite a yeasty beer, but you can drink it neat if you're an alcoholic, an old man, or a oh. psychopath. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to drink it tentatively. <laughs> Does she like yeasty beers? Time to roll a percentile dice to check. <laughs> hey. I got like 70, so I'm going to say she likes it. How does react to like ginger beer and rum? How does I, I react to the stormy yeah. sky? Uh, I, it looks like I like it. I drink more of it than the other two drinks you got me. Because I haven't finished any drink you got me yet, but this okay. one I drink like two thirds of it. Okay, good to know. Uh, I neck the pint. Your neck <laughs> it, it is a. I got you a Brightwood, so it's a weak pale ale. Like yeah, I mean, I like fight you the big burp afterwards. It's a weak pale ale, watering down a lot of wine, though. Like let's be real. Mm. Yeah, this man's is mixing. This man's is gonna have a head again. I take in the it, Kess didn't like that one from that look on your face. No, no, no. She actually did. I got like a seventy. She's a so beer she lady. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, wrong. I wrote in that 20, so I was like, well, a last one's necking it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so then I will walk us all over to uh, the Weeping Mug. Uh, so we head, we, you know, come out of the muddy boat, cross over the river, head up through the uh, Temple District, uh, try and skirt the outside of the Temple District more than anything, uh, and then go through, cut through crafting because it's quicker. And we're right next to the Cut through crafting. The West Gate. Put it shop. Put it pub. Cut through Put crafting. Okay, cool. So <laughs> you guys have drank here before. Um I will get Lazarin, do you want something? Like a drink drink or a nightcap sort of thing? I think probably a, a nightcap for one because we've got a busy day tomorrow. I will get him a silver tooth. Which is a, it's a, like a strong brandy that's made from grapes and olives. Oh, I do not like that one. <laughs> I sip at that for the rest of the evening. <laughs> that's just like, <laughs> you know when you got a drink, you don't want to be rude and not drink, so you sip it. I'm just like, yeah. Um, <laughs> what a weird combo. So, the, I mean, I will, because uh, Diagon reacted well to a stormy sky. I will. I'll get her a wish in a while. 
What is that? Yay, I love that one. Which is, uh, is so that? it's uh, it's a quite a tall mug of a of a quite clear gin. Okay. Um, which when you get it is it has um quite a quite a strong berry taste to it, but it isn't of itself clear. And Brooks will explain. This is more of like a like a, a niche sort of traveler novelty thing, but the idea is that it's a wish in a well. You can put a coin in it first before you drink it. It sounds really weird, but historically the reason was is because uh, it uh, if you were using fake coins or like wooden painted coins or things like that, when you put it in the glass, paint would flake away and warp. So it's sort of like a hey, I'm being genuine with my money and tipping. But also, at this point, it's just a novelty thing, because who the fuck turns up with fake coins that are made out of wood? And but so other than that, like... it's just gin. It's like a very, like, sweet berry gin. Yeah. Just a okay. tall glass of gin. Let's fucking Tall it. glass of gin. It's gin o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I just signed to Cass. But coins are dirty. <laughs> alcohol is clean. Oh, Cass is just like, well, I guess it's alcohol, so it cleans it up. But then you drink the dirt. How much dirt can be in a coin? <clears throat> oh. And I just talking back. Money is literally one of the dirtiest things that humans handle. Do you I know don't, how many people I, touch the coins? Clean it. I didn't be disinfected. Is Kess signing back or is she speaking back? She's speaking like back. To be yeah. I mean, if... Dagen, I've seen people do some very inappropriate things with coinage before. I mean, so if you it, want, it's not like you don't have to do it. Just... I mean, I'll. I like from all my pockets. I pull out just a very, very shiny coin. I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to hear the stories that a man for who is <laughs> a friendly giant has seen people do with coins. Do with coins, all. right? <laughs> yeah, I, there are no bills to fucking yeah. get rain oh, in this God. day and age, dude. <laughs> slot in the coin slot. You know what, you know what that reminds oh, me yeah. of? Like one of the rolling electrum the... down the crack of a no, prostitute. No, there's there's there. many jokes about I've heard about how being a, a stripper in Canada is a dangerous profession because we don't have dollar bills, we have loonies. Loonies we have and coins. toonies. Yeah, you make yeah. it hail. Coins you... you can chuck it at them. <laughs> and... <laughs> Um, so you all have, uh, drinkies there. Is, um, Davian back at this point? I mean, uh, are you the weeping mug? What, yes. are you, yeah. what are you doing? Like, well, while you're just kind of vibing on your own, you're just kind of going for a walk, or? Yeah, I'm gonna f just try and get some fucking fresh air and some <laughs> trees and maybe mm -hmm. some animals, and I'll use speak with animals, just cars, and that lasts ten minutes, so... That's Fuck it, dude. I'll just walk around in the wilderness talking to animals for a bit. All right. Uh, when see you're done what with the that. whispers are. See if, see if there are any birds that migrated from fucking further north up Sekthar way. See if they have anything interesting to say about what the Yuan T do and how long they've been here. Make an animal handling check. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Have you seen any snakes? 11. Um, you kind of like uh, see a few birds flying over pretty low and you kind of just kind of cast that at question into, into the wind, like ask it. Mm. And one of the birds kind of swoops down and, and lands. And it's like this very tiny, not, not very impressive looking at all, like this very tiny red bird. Which kind of... You're asking them... Specifically about Sekthar? Yeah. Very busy. Oh no. A gathering. A gathering. Of some sort. Oh, a gathering at Sekthar specifically or at all of <clears> them? <throat> okay. Lots of snake people. Yeah. Does it seem dangerous? Yes. Yes. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> as, it, as, it, as it flies off again. Mm. Yeah, I'll just stroll around and 
yeah, like an hour or two and then head back. All right. Uh, yeah, you'll walk into uh, the Weeping Mug as uh, these lots are all uh, sipping on their first drink. Just sort of stroll in and I guess there's a, a seat I might pull up and sit down. You feel better for that? Much. At least better than you lot appear. How many drinks down are we? Mm, this is our fourth. On the subject of which... I, I just hold up like like between one and two. Because I haven't finished any of them. I just, like, uh, I just go like this. <laughs> Brooks has been finishing everyone else's drinks. <laughs> oh, you're on I was, uh I finished all mine this one. Then, yeah, so. I was talking to a, a bird outside the city. And when I say bird, <laughs> don't get too excited. Uh, my man's is pulled. No, like literally a sparrow. There's my man's sparrows. Not okay. There's some sort of gathering happening at the temples to the north. Looks very busy and dangerous. So something is stirring. I expect this is all going to be tied together somehow. I can imagine you'd be correct in that. Right, I need a drink. Any recommendations? I have three in front of me, and I will wave my hand across them, indicating that you can take your pick. What are they? What do they look like? Uh, there's one that looks like a shot of whiskey with like a weird greenish liquid, like a really like a couple of drops in it. Uh-huh. Uh, there's one that looks like a, uh, it's just like a, a cup, like a ceramic cup, mm. like a brown liquid in it coffee and there is <laughs> and there is one that's um like a very orange color with like a where it meets the mug there's like a darker brown oh, i'll take the shot the whiskey with the green okay uh you have got a bite back it's a shot of whiskey yes. that has a tiny amount of snake venom in it oh Ugh. It's not like a nice drink. It's an okay whiskey. It's a novelty thing. It's a uh, this guy's having a birthday. Let's get Sambuca shots. It's like you the know. D and D, the worst equivalent of like a prairie fire. Yeah. Oh man. For their birthday. Just like it's quick, not like... even good whiskey. Like okay. Uh, Something I'll... up with that out of someone's leg to know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Cass pick from the other two, and I'll drink what I was left. Okay. Uh, I'll go for the for the ceramic cup. Okay. It. Uh, it is vodka with like a uh, bean liqueur that's the closest you'll get to like coffee in this sort of bartending. So it's okay. like a yeah. coffee liqueur and vodka. You could use some sugar, uh, fucking... but it's nice. What's it fucking called? Like a espresso martini? Yes. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Uh, and then what I've got is called orc spit. Which is Ew. Rutger, which is, um, Rutger is like a, a dwarven spirit, sort of like vodka that's made from root vegetables. Uh, and it's that, uh, potato vodka. orange juice and a dash of vinegar. Ew. All right. So we are um, all blasted with, at this point. With that, uh, it is uh, bedtime for all of you. You're all, uh... Uh, There's nothing Davian, happening Davian. here? Isn't there's there some end of what's festival what's... as festivity? There's event? just music being played and there's like oh, people sitting oh. in hot cities here. There's just a party. There's something like, specific. It's a party. I want no, to just dance a party. with a Lazarin. Oh, But for the sake sweet. of this, um, we'll say that you all, uh, do you all sleep here? Do you go back yeah. to the friendly giant? I'll go back that to the to. room that I originally had with Davian. Okay. I was like, Cass and I still have a room here, so we'll you go do. back to that. Do they have available rooms? Yeah. Uh, I will get a room on my own, and I guess Jax will get a room as well. All right. You all go night-night, wake up the next mm -hmm. day with uh, some few, a uh, bit of a heavy head, but uh, nothing nothing you can't handle. Uh, and we'll take our break there. Hey. hey! And then we'll be back, back in like five to ten case? minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, do they have more, baths? Uh, they select. Oh, yeah. Everybody, so we'll be right back. Join, yeah. the, join the subreddit, Bad check us out on YouTube, follow the Twitter, all that good stuff. Soon, podcast form yeah. and all that good stuff. If you haven't yet, 
hit that follow yeah. button right here. We would appreciate that shit. And we'll be back in uh, a little bit. BRB.
Hello there. Hello. Kenobi. How's it going? Welcome back, everybody. Jonimus, take care, man. Have a good, uh, have a good have nap. Have good sleep. Fuck. Uh, a beacon <laughs> of hope. Thanks for the follow. Oh, she. Thanks awesome. again for uh, throwing that sub to Dicely D and D. We appreciate man, you. Last campaign, we had two beacons of hope. Now we ain't got none. <laughs> we, got one, we got one now, right? Like in a way. Mm. Right. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, so I mean, can't can't Koiba eventually learn that spell? Yeah. Uh, yeah. To. I mean, it's, it's something. You think I'm gonna Will he? <laughs> He's not gonna. Will he though? Um... Shitty healing spell on Money Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, you all awaken the weeping mug as you get downstairs. Um, all no. you really wait. Oh. No, wait, wait. Okay. Elazar and I. Yeah, Elijah we're gonna Abby. fucking look at these. I'm gonna look we at these. We have jewelry. Necklace. We're gonna fuck, and I started. Oh, looking right, this right, 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 right. <laughs> gonna look at this fucking paying attention. shitting necklace and these gems. <laughs> yeah. So the blue gems. I will ritual cast detect magic. Oh, uh, okay. okay. All right. So well, I'll just go in order of which you've received them, and so mm -hmm. I need to open all those documents and have a little look. See. Okay. Um, bim, 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 bim. man, the necklace I'll check for like what the if it has an like insignia print on it, you know, who was it made by, and then just like what I can gain from it, like try and figure out a value and all that shit. The three pieces of blue gemstone that you found mm -hmm. uh, in the tunnel, like in that hidden little, little mm -hmm. chest under the floor, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, are pieces of lapis lazuli mm -hmm. Pretty. and are nice worth. Gem. 10 gold pieces each. Each. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, where'd you get the necklace again? It was the uh, necklace. Reward in we... our session zero. Session yeah. zero. Right. Okay. I think we found it in the... On the cave <gasps> or some shit? No, no, no. no. Uh, when we... Oh, we saved the people. Building, yeah. The homie gave us it, yeah. Right, yeah, yes. yeah. You got that as a reward. Right, right, right. Yes, yes. Um... The necklace, none of this is magical, by the way. Just, yeah, yeah um, I didn't think it was, but I still did, yeah. just in case. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let me have a look. Look, see, this necklace uh, is worth 40 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. It's quite pricey, it's quite pricey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what other gemstones do we have? Let's have a look, let's have a look. I'm sure I've given you more gemstones at some was... point. No, 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 didn't, didn't Elijah get some? Specifically, am I crazy? I feel like uh, there's another thing that you got that we were like, oh, we'll we'll look at that later. I think it was just those two things. I'm looking mm -hmm. through my session zero. We got a box. There's a small box in the necklace came in, and you kept the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's a small little box. Uh, zero though, like more recently, but ba -ba 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 -ba. I could be no, wrong. recently, no, I haven't, I haven't got anything. Okay. Well, there you okay. go. There you go. All so right. it's worth. There's no. Do I recognize who made the necklace? Uh, no, it seems pretty old. Uh, but uh, like 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 the man said, it was like a family heirloom. But he wanted to I'll kind yeah, of have like it for polish up. Helping. I'll polish up the the necklace a little bit as I'm there. I'm just gonna. Okay. And does the pieces of lapis do they look like they fit together at all? Do they no, all look? They're just they're just three. Right. Are these random like pieces of lapis? Yeah. Gems. Just like uncut gems. Yeah. I mean, I can if we keep these around, I can certainly do something with these. Make them probably if we find a metal band, I can make these into jewelry and can sell it for a higher price than the ten gold. Um, I mean, this is just an old necklace. We can sell it, or we can keep it as a as a trade at sub description. Nothing, nothing too remarkable about it. But it's a nice we, piece. We can keep the lapis, definitely. The necklace, I'm sure, you'd worth, do a better job getting rid of it than I would. But. Worth forty. Could probably try and get fifty. Posh up a little bit, and you know, yeah, sounds good. Try and figure something out. Right. Okay. Uh, and I I will just pass the. Gemstones to you in that case. You just add those to your inventory. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, wow. Before oh, before I yeah. come downstairs, yeah, I want to cast good. distort value on the porcelain rings that I okay. got for the ring toss, and now those are worth. They look like they're worth twenty gold. Oh. And that's, that's all I'm gonna spell. do. What in the magic fuck? What? In how, the magic fuck? what? Imagine <laughs> being a cleric. How long, of a how long does that last? Is it like only 24 hours or is it permanent? Eight hours. Is eight how hours. Okay. Okay. Just curious. 
Thank you. I've oh, never heard of this spell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Is it attached it's, to yeah, the spell? Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone is currently from, Googling what is For eight hours, value. their perceptive value is doubled, essentially. Wow. Basically. That's crazy. So what? they look real fancy now. You're cheating. And 20 gold. Literally yeah. gold hacking. Yep. <laughs> wow. Cool. Buy something, cast that, sell it. Buy two the next I can make day, things. I can that, make things look them. double the value or half the value. There's some genie warlock bullshit, Oh, but there's, there's right? an investigation check involved. Yeah, if, the, if they investigate it, then they're like, yeah. mm, that's not right. If but if they're too dumb to do that, If they investigate then... it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they won't. Okay, fair it's enough. their job. There you go. <laughs> Hacks. Careful. Oh, okay. I suppose <laughs> we shall commune downstairs now. All right. Downstairs, all you see is um, a barkeep... Uh, a human that some of you've seen previously as he kind of like came to investigate what the hell was happening to the well behind his tavern. Uh, that same man standing behind the bar. And clientele-wise, it's pretty empty. The only people you see is there is a um, quite interesting looking man sitting in a booth. Uh, pale skin, black eyes. Hey. Okay. Uh, together with a large uh, loxodon. They're, uh, the okay. Loxodon is standing, the man is sitting. I can accept the Loxodon just being interesting looking. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what about this man exactly makes him eye-catching? I mean, if you knew, you knew. The fact knew, that he is knew. pale gray skin, pitch black mm -hmm. eyes, is, uh, is something that you don't really see very Creepy often. Creepy looking. Just a little something off. Yeah. Just very edgelord looking. And how many people is do you looking? see? Like, looking, looking human, but also not. So we're talking we're like the whole eye is just blackness. Correct. Okay. Like a demon right. and supernatural. Is he right. looking at us, Dutch? Looking what? Is, is he, he looking, looking at us? Is he looking at us? Oh, you, I, you, I swear you said ass Dutch, and I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> you said, is he looking at us? But like, it was so smushed. Yeah. Uh, no, and he's just sitting there. He's just eating some food, just sitting there. If, he, if, 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 when, if he looks that way, I'll give him a nod. Uh, he doesn't. Right. Fuck me then, I guess. What is the lock sedan again? Elephant man. Elephant, elephant man. man. Big yeah, elephant okay. man. Yeah. Ooh, I hit my microphone. Um, you can notice that the lock sedan, one of his tusks is broken off, but you can see that same tusk hanging from his waist now, kind of chained, formed into a dagger. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> sign... Metal. Yeah, I'm gonna it's sign to Kess and try and do it on whatever side of my body is away from the two of them. Uh, I guess we can assume they've seen our new friends now. Uh, I'm gonna sign back. I assume they've seen them long before now. Then I'll just nod. Nice. So, you, uh, you have your breakfast, and then there's a new- it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Mm, it is now the really like 16th. For me. For me. Uh, what do you do? What do you want to do with your day? Operation. Let's go to the house. <laughs> Operation knock on man's Number 38. Door. I was going to yeah. say, are we... Are we just knocking on the door or barging away once we've done that? Are we are walking over there? Because well, on the way there, I want to like, sell those rings. Because I imagine have so far it's like the distance. Is a handwriting match. Okay, like, I feel like that's quite a lot to make bold assumptions on. Maybe. We I don't know. We're just going to want to have a simple talk with the man. So, uh, I'm, 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 I will sign. We, I mean, guess. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Ethan. I I hate to I hate to prove that you're right, but I spoke with a friend of mine. Apparently, this fella keeps his face covered. So, Snake Man. Snake Man. A snake Man. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm you, know, guys, um, you know that um, quickly to, to rebuttal what Kesslin said or what Bell said. If you want to sell like the rings, right? Yeah. If Death you want to sell them. stuff like that, uh, the better place would be the shops in the Crafters Union. Okay, Because those cool. are Thank more you. specific, which is a little out of the way of where you're going. Yep. Nice. Thanks. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to sign to Kess. And after I finish signing it, gesture to the group, uh, like asking her to ask for me. Won't we scare or tip off this per this man if all of our scary faces show up and in interrogating him all at once? 
Times on the I, I mean, I have. Uh... Oh, sorry. Like, you have to let her tell you because she might. Because right, at any yeah. point, Kess can alter I whatever I'm saying. You, so. Yeah. <laughs> what does Kess say? Smile. <laughs> Dagon says she's worried that all of us at once will scare him off. And it yes, might be better to go one or two at a time. I mean, if he has reason to run. We have reason re to catch him. Yeah, I mean, is he really going to try and outrun six of us? Like, I mean, if he tries to run, I'm assuming he's going to go out of a different entrance than the one we're standing in the way of. Well, right. We can still catch up, and I have a way that can probably stop him pretty effectively. Look at, so. You've seen Dagon in a fight. Oh, you know, fast Dagon. Yeah, let's see how Dagon can. Fast. I just like sigh and <laughs> sign. Okay, not what I meant. Uh. What what's our cover then? What's our angle? What do we say to him? We go. She wants to, she wants to know how we're going to actually approach this and we perform get our it. Way in. Uh, we perform it's an official arrest <laughs> under the jurisdiction of what we've been into doing that. He's just wanted what? to ask. That's a questions. terrible idea. You just want I, to ask I, him I some questions about it. Guess. That's a we, terrible we idea. We have been sent here under the authority of yeah. the yeah. Imperial Trading Company yeah. to yeah. detain you on suspicion. Of conspiracy to conspiracy, uh, um, to assassinate. Well, no, it was the assassination of the uh, conspiracy. The assassination of the emissary. Question for DM. Right. Um, I don't know how loud we're talking, but when Davian says under authority of Imperial Trading Company, can I do without moving my head, just like quick eye glance? Can I see if the Loxodon or the man seem to notice that or take yeah. interest? I believe it in was said that you were already kind of like walking and talking, we're right? Walking away at this oh, point. we're yeah, walking, talking, we're not eating and having yeah, breakfast. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. We didn't want cool. to discuss business. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got you. Got you. Yeah. All caught yeah. up. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like I mean, that's. Well, what other way do you guys suggest? What, I feel like our, just do, do it from an official. We arrest him and we send him back there where he can be officially integrated by the people who know what they're doing. So our, our our goal here is simply to detain him and transport Deta him. Yeah, there. detain and transport. And the other thing, if it comes comes to violent wanes, we stop him before that. We don't kill him. We keep him alive. We just lock the fucking doors in then. Well, I prefer not to I, make a scene. I, it might I'll, come peacefully. I'll just sign to Kess. I'm confused. I thought our evidence was still circumstantial. I thought we wanted a bit more before we formally arrest, like take him to them. No, we would we. we uh, oh wait for. <laughs> says yeah. she also thinks this idea is stupid, and that <laughs> um, we don't have enough. We don't have enough evidence for this. We right. we haven't actually got this authority that you're saying that we have. And if you're going to sure. choose a lie, you better you choose a better lie than what's a better lie that than... we have the authority. Yeah, yeah right. But when we, but then when we take him to the emissary, sure, that's proof of our authority. He doesn't have to be conscious. Yes, I'd rather uh, knock out a man. Gives the authority to knock him out. Him out. We don't yeah. have authority to arrest him in the first place. I'll be, I'll be entirely honest. I was daydreaming. I, I was daydreaming about Pope Crawl while you guys were doing businessy shit and looking at handwriting things. Um, <laughs> what was the exact wording from? I'm we just were told gonna... to bring him alive. We were told uh, to bring Jeremiah here. That's the here. purview. Of, that's the scope of our thing. Yeah. Don't yeah, need Jeremiah any more so information. Just take him. He doesn't have to be. I mean, and to, and to explore, and to explore his house, try and find more evidence. So I'm... we go in. Well, we well, knock yeah, him out. very mixed things here. Are you saying that we don't have the authority to arrest him, or do you want to knock him out for the fun of knocking him out? I, they, they, I... These are two very different. <laughs> these one is one lines that I'm getting from you. I, right? I'm just gonna sign to Kess. Way worse. All I'm other. saying is wrongful accusations can be very dangerous. And then look at the group and point at my neck. While she whatever while she says whatever my interpretation is. Dagon is saying that if we accuse him of a crime and say that we're going to arrest him for that crime, that opens up a whole new avenue of difficulty for the authorities authorities and for us. Not particularly. I, I, mean, I just not, not, not no to no, that. The one no, time I seem to contradict Kate. We're literally there. I'm joking. She said, "I'll repeat what you said." Okay, yeah. Uh, we're, no. we're, 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 there, we're there to take him in because the authorities have asked us to, as a help would. Where they will then make into their own investigation, and it's from there to decide from there. We are, if it's not us, it'll be the crown guard. It'll be the town guard. Regardless, this man is going to be taken into custody, or he escapes. 
Uh, if we do I it on our the own best terms. Part is if we do it, we get paid. We get paid. We're, we get we're, paid if we do it. We're not okay? accusing this man of anything. We're not we're accusing him of anything. Right. He's just the next lead. To bring him in and whatever means necessary. That's the purview. Yeah. Of the He's, the that is... He's the lead suspect. He's the lead suspect. Or he could be the biggest. Something. Or it could be the biggest help we got here. He could give us information. All I'm saying is that if it was we're just not. as easy as saying we're going to arrest him and arresting him, we would not be the ones that would be sent. No, with one sense because Something they trust... the town guard can do. No, they don't trust the town guard fully at this point. They don't know who's involved in this conspiracy. They know that we're not involved. We're the ones sent all. because we've been the one chasing. We're the one chasing the, the ladder. And yeah, I'll we know it the, the most cast... about it. I'll sign the cast. It's that mistrust that makes me wonder if their investigation will be fair. Mm. Well, fine enough. We can be alongside the investigation. Make sure Maybe. that's why we search his house as well. Find as any evidence that we can, either to prove him guilty or to, or to prove him innocent. Because he I might have a fair alibi. Lazarin, when he says search the house to find evidence, yeah. and I nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we find we're as much around. evidence as we can before we bring him. We just bring him blind. We I mean, as if... much evidence as we can. He might even talk to us. If and what Brooke perfect. says has any merit, I'm hoping to pull the mask off this guy's face, and he's just half snake, and then it's case closed. I mean, it's not I mean, case closed, but I, I he could to... still be the full guy for it's all a this. Bit judgmental. He could That's... entirely. But he is right. It was condemned. Oh, I'm sorry that the half snake man writing about his precious heritage is not. <laughs> yeah, but he might not have... <laughs> He could still be the full guy. I think you underestimate how easy it is to force someone's handwriting. At the very least, if he didn't write this letter, it was designed to lead us to him. So there's an entire possibility. But that's not our fucking job. Yeah, our job is go him. here, pick him up, check his house for anything fucking suspicious, and take him over there. If and this conspiracy goes as deep as you might suggest, what you're saying is that possibly the Primus knows that there just happens to be a half snake man in the town who might be a fitting, unwitting fall guy for this entire operation. So she just happened to forge his handwriting and put that letter there so that we were going to go chase him up that tree because he just so happens to be a half snake man in the same town as the whole snake thing. And mm -hmm. it's actually the Primus, but we don't. Oh, how much? Honest. How much so political? Point, past Karen. We've been paid to bring him in. Just yeah. bring him how in. How much? Like, how much political intrigue moral. have you been involved in, Davian? Because that's not half as crazy as some like, schemes that I've heard. If from. if we had a problem with it, we shouldn't have took the job, but we did. We got. We're being paid to take him in. That's it. That's end off. Yeah, we that's take true. him in. We're being Regardless we're being of whether he's innocent in. or guilty, we didn't. Nobody objected at the time. That's it. We're doing it. Let's fucking. Yeah, but if we go in and say immediately that we're going to arrest him. We well, completely shoot ourselves in the. Oh, fine. We'll say we're here to talk. Him to tell us anything. We don't need him to tell us anything. We're not we getting get paid him. to investigate him. We're, we're, we're getting paid to, to take him over to the fucking. Because it's the easiest way to do it. Because if he then does anything else, we then do it. But if he wants to come winning, we say, hey, you know, we are. We've got the authority to do this. You can All come right. with us. And then when he doesn't want to do that, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Other means. Does anyone have what? any sort of? Char like charm spells or anything like uh, that. Maybe. You know, you no, seem like you do. Charm, clearly. I'm not talking you... about sleep. I'm talking about make him your friend and then get him to say things, and then maybe we don't need to worry so much. <laughs> no, maybe that's not in my repertoire. This, why are we hmm? trying to get a confession? With why are we working for free? We're not necessarily looking looking for a confession, but now that I've basically trick myself into believing the maddest conspiracy theory I could <laughs> I'd really like to know where this leads. Well, I don't want to hand him I don't want to hand him over to the Imperial Guards or whatever and forget about it and say, alright, well we made the money because if he has something worth knowing, I want to know it myself firsthand. Well then exactly. guess what? Well, well I just you told are. you last night you might not remember because of oh, yeah. Yeah. but <laughs> there's some oh, sort yeah. of there's some sort <laughs> of gathering going on of Yuan T at the Temple of Sekthar right now. Snake party. Snake party. He's not there. So. Well, oh, maybe this... he is there. He hasn't. Maybe ah, he is. Ah. Calf said he didn't fucking see him for the last couple of months. What if he's been trekking up there? He's not going to be his house anyway. We just bust in. We rummage through his shit. Yeah, he might... He's yeah, not we're, there. We're we find some anyway. We, we are find, going under we the illusion find a that he's here. place journal that says he's on his way to Sekthar right now. And then we go and cut him off and we have a look. Is maybe it Sekthar or Sefka? It's uh, Sekthar is the one that we uh... Is it? Oh, I've yeah. been writing it wrong. Seth there are two. Name they there, are both there is temples. also one called Sethkar. So. Oh, then wh which one. one is the one we're going to? Sethkar. Seth we're, we're not going to any of them. Wh which one's the one that's been mentioned and that Davian is interested Sekthar, in? Sekthar, the one that's top right yeah. in the map. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. 
that was a Laura day, question. I think this, I, I, because I've just. Because yeah, Diagon would have been also a question, so it's fine. Like, we never have the question no. whether you're asking, you are asking as Laura's yeah. Diagon, because <laughs> if you're asking as Diagon, you'll be, you'll always clarify by, I'm signing. That's, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> that's a pretty easy tell. <laughs> if you, if you want to go for approach, I mean, I don't fucking know. I will. You just send Jax and uh, Elazar into the front door or something, the rest of us cover the back. I'll be entirely honest. I Keep him busy, we'll sneak in. Or Put you know. five goals on the fact that the man's either dead in this house or not here. So, hmm. if, I, if I'd if i sobered up and realized this sooner, then we could have not had this whole fucking conversation. But knock at the door, he won't open it, we'll break it down, he'll either be not there or dead. I put five gold on it. When we went to that... Then we're taking temple, that, but uh, I'm not when, when, the life of a man. When we went to that underground tavern... Tavern? Wow. Underground tavern. <laughs> Sort of what are we dwarves? Underground waves of you been going to? Underground Why cavern with, that, with the with the with the th with your four or five, your auntie in it. There was that priest with his weird snake arm. Was that the only part of him that was snaky? I mean, all Did he have a snake things. face? He was gross. Get... If that's what you're they're asking. All, I'm all just all thinking. What what if what, what 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 if there's like a, a whole a whole you know, gathering of uh, sort of half snake, half not snake. That's a fair I point, think but I think we've just. I think we've reached the end of the valid conclusions we can draw without any more. Of it. What the think... fuck's going on? Those guys wanted to set fire to everything. Hold, hold on. <laughs> I mean, that's a different thing altogether. I know, but I just. What the fuck are you? On? When are we going to deal with that? What? Like. What? Oh, that's. I think there's more pressing matters. That seems to be very low bar rather than high bar and also they said not to general told us not to bother until after the festivals anyway you guys so. found some arsonists <laughs> some religious yeah, a bunch of dragon worshiping arsonists we've got dragon worshiping arsonists arsonists we've got snake worshiping half half murderers what primus murderers yeah shagging <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and thus we found that religion was the true, the true emissary people. shooting oh it's not quite that bad there's every there's even everything I wouldn't blame entirely on religion. No evil in alcohol. <laughs> it leads to it though. Much like no, religion leads to it. You haven't, you haven't <laughs> drunk <laughs> antifreeze. What was that laugh, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? It's because I had to fucking <laughs> choke at the same time. I was saying that I couldn't like... In that, like when anyone <laughs> says anything bad about religion, just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, turns into fucking Shit. Waluigi every the time fucking, someone The fucking demon... <laughs> The demon Wah. comes out every time I mention bad about religion. Hey. <laughs> anyway. Uh, have we arrived at this point? Because yeah, I feel like this conversation somewhere. has nothing else it can garner. Yeah. Yeah. We now walk in silence for the rest of the way. <laughs> Alright. So you make your way downtown, walking, not very fast, because you keep bickering over these, like, the wilder and wilder becoming... Snakes. Oh, uh, we really are, like, conspiracies. <laughs> Like, you see, for a split second, you look at each other, and for a split second, it's almost like there's these, like, silver cones on people's heads, and then you <laughs> blink and they're gone. It's crazy. The heroes of exiles were actually agents of the government, and the entire battle was faked to control the populace. The entire battle was faked. <laughs> oh, God. The fourth True. era is a lie. <laughs> oh, this isn't real. is <laughs> a lie. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, but you make it to a house. It's the, the number 38, kind of like carved in like a nice stone plate that hangs next to the door. Uh, the house looks pretty much like any other house in this, in this district. The white stone brick walls with the like blue tiled roof. Um, what do you do? There's like a small I... front yard. You see a door. You see some windows. You see some windows upstairs as well. Is there any lights on in the house? Any too? signs of life? Uh, there's no lights. No. Is the is there? You said there's like a garden. It's like a little front yard here. Yeah. Is it well maintained? Is it a mess? Uh, not really. Like uh, the grass is pretty tall. I mean, I say we just ask him politely who, if he's the resident, and then we just he say we want to ask here, him some questions. Okay. okay. Well, I want to find out. I'll knock on the door. 
We should have told him he won a prize. He needs and to come with us to claim his fortune. And you wait. You've won and a you cruise. <laughs> and there is no answer to the knock. Is the door unlocked? No. Uh, you go to try, and the door seems locked. Nobody home? Uh, uh, let me... willing to answer the door. Unlock let me the lock. this door, Wait. would you? I will unlock. use my oh. thieves tools and unlock the door. Oh, oh cast I didn't. me a dexterity check and add your proficiency bonus. And get an extra d4 as well. Is it Queen of Thieves! Maybe... Uh, doing backdoor at the same time? You know, oh, and a d4 that because I think uh, the Lazarus is I cast guidance. Guidan guidan has... guiding you. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. You know, so another d4 as well. 18. The, from the back 18? Of the yeah, with ease. You you stick your thieves tools in there and you, you start wiggling it a little bit and <laughs> and door swings open and, and the... inside the oh. doorway you look no yeah. lights on in uh, in the in the house and as you kind of uh look around it, it seems fairly basic to you little carpets on the floor little, oh the, the, the the door kind of leads into a hallway that leads into what you what see what you see is like a big room that's about all you can see from outside as we walk in. I will touch Brooks on the shoulder and I'll give him vigilant blessing. Okay. Are you the first one to walk in, Elazarin? I mean, I guess you guess it's probably the first one. To yeah, yeah, I'm the oh, first one. Okay. To okay. okay, okay. So you walk in. Uh, where you, there's a stairway that goes upstairs as well. Uh, I'm do we gonna walk go. In or do we walk in? Big room first. What's that do? Uh, oh. As you walk in next initiative. to the initial hallway, you didn't check for traps. Uh, I would like for I knew you. I forgot something. I would like for you to make a dexterity saving throw. Is it like a, a pie above the door? Need oh, dexterity door. saving throw? Mm -hmm. 19. 19. You make the save, you take a step on the carpet, and suddenly you feel your foot like sinking down it, almost as if the carpet is like covering a hole. And you hop, you quickly hop outside and, and warn the rest of the group. <clears throat> That's not uh, suspicious at all. Yeah. It's a hole. Can I, can, I take, can, I, can, I, can I like move the carpet to yeah. like expose it? Can the, I look down the hole? Yeah, you remove the carpet and there's about a uh, 15 foot drop and you can just see and hear a Snake. lot of snakes just in a pit. Just, oh. Just, oh, just well, hissing around. It's a pit of snakes. Okay. Mine has to be snakes. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna continue on to the main floor snakes now. Snakes are kind of like keeping an eye out for arc. any more traps. I've had enough of these goddamn snakes on this goddamn material plane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn! You don't want to see the snakes on other planes. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I, I'm at any they time unless I say plane. otherwise. I'm just following behind Kess. Yeah, remember fucking Dendar the Night Serpent? That was a, that was a snake. Right. That was a snake. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Snake. It was government deep fake campaign one never happened. Oh, true, true, true. My bad, my bad. <laughs> um. Okay, so now that everyone is aware of this uh, uh, snake pit, you you easily avoid it. Mm -hmm. um, where were you going initially, uh, Kess? The big the big room, like the main room. Okay. Uh, this big room is uh, is kind of like a like a living area. You can see some couches kind of surrounding a fireplace. Uh, there's a kitchen area in the corner, um, and you see a also see in this room. There's also a like in the corner. Back right, so there's a stairway that goes down as well. Motherfucker. So there's a, the a staircase. Pit. So there's a stairway up in like the main entry hall, and there's a stairway down uh, in this in this room. Which way do we want to check first, up or down? Well, we know what's down. Or do we go? I think oh. do we check it. Do we check his bedroom to see if he's you know, so he yeah. Keeps... Just go then. Bedroom study. You know, see if he has anywhere. Maybe like, or even just a. What's your room with us? Should we look down? Do we want to split up or we just all go together? Split up? I mean, yeah, it's a bit cover crowded, more isn't it? Cover more room. We're gonna split up and look for clues. I'm gonna yeah. cast... Speak oh. well. I'll... I'll take... I mean, I don't mind going downstairs if you guys are certain going up. I'll... I'll have a talk with the snakes. Hmm. Okay. I'll go upstairs to the bedroom. I'll go downstairs. And obviously just follow Kess. You're gonna have yeah. a talk with the snakes? Is that what you said, Davian? Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Okay. I'm gonna cast big panels. All right. It's gonna now awesome. I'm assuming I'm assuming the stairway down just leads straight into the basement, which is where the snake pit is, right? Uh, the stairway down leads to the basement. The snake pit is not in the basement. Okay, the then I will go back up. Separated. 
and I will go to the hole in the floor and I will peer over <laughs> and I will just call down. Where's Jeremiah? Uh, make a animal handling check. But he's not handling them, he's speaking. Uh, 19. Oh, it's Jeremiah. Your master? <laughs> you mean the man who threw us into this pit? Yes, the man who threw you into the pit. I don't know. Do you want to go? Yes. Eat. Well, not. don't eat people, though. Why not? Because that would be kind of messed up. It would be. You could probably just sort of slither into the drains and out. No. You could. Pro well. Do I have anything that snakes would eat? Well, there's a really big cat. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Pro preferably, if we were to let you out, you would just leave. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Really kind of persuade some snake snakes to just leave before we fight a swarm of snakes of our own making. Yeah, God. Swarm of snakes with this fucking massive ball just rolling. Sure. Oh, well, there you go. Is that convincing? Make an insight check. <laughs> Do I believe? Do, the snakes have a, a good poker face. <laughs> oh, 22. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> All right, snaky friends. I suppose you have two choices. Um, stay down there and not really have anything to eat for the rest of your miserable lives, or leave and just go back to the jungle whence you came. Um. At this point, the snakes have kind of, kind of don't care anymore, really, about what you have to say, and they They're just over hiss it. angrily. How long ago did the man who put you in this hole put you in the hole? Few weeks. That's bad. Okay. All right. Um. It's cozy in there. Okay. Have fun in the hole. <laughs> and as you say that, one of the snakes kind of like <sighs> and tries to like jump snap at you, but doesn't reach because the pit is way too deep. Uh, feels kind of bad. Feels kind of bad. <laughs> feels bad, man. Oh, it makes you hole. feel better. Snakes in a pit tend to survive quite a while because they will eat their own. Oh, yeah, they oh yeah, that makes me feel way better. Mm. Well, they're not gonna starve. They're just gonna get eaten. Yeah. Well, some By of them. each other. No big deal. Some of them. Some of them will starve eventually. What? One of them will starve. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fucking big by the time he starves to death. Might be able to crawl out. Who knows? I mean, how many mice could you get in sort of this hour? Buy a fucking cart full of mice and just pour pour it into the hole. I don't fucking. But that's know. still a temporary Why? solution, because yeah. How do we store a fucking pit full of snakes? How do oh? I did, we mm, burn it. How many? How much health? How many holes does a human have? No. How much <laughs> health does a snake have? How many could we realistically put to sleep? They'd just get eaten by the rest. This <laughs> mission has. This has been derailed. Well, this is a tricky yeah. one because technically a swarm of snakes is one creature, right? It's like oh. it has one HP value. So, so if we you could have put them all HP, to sleep. If you roll high enough, if you could, you could try, yeah. But we don't know what their health is. Mm -hmm. okay. And I could very. I would say less than twenty. And I could very easily roll five. Mm. I'm going to go downstairs with the last room. I feel bad. I don't want to leave them all in the hole. Well, it can't be that well, warm well, down there either. They're cold blooded while creatures. While you Fuck the ponder, snakes. what are Kess and I finding upstairs? Mm. While you decide what you want to do with uh, your snake. Make an investigation check. Both of us? 
uh, or advantage for one of you, depending on who's helping who. Which one you want to do? I'll just give Kess advantage, because mine's a plus zero. Neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, investigation. 19. 19? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you find that upstairs is just one big bedroom. Uh, inside this bedroom, there's a desk with some paperwork on it. Uh, a what seems to be kind of like a dustbin with also with with pieces of paper kind of crumbled and then thrown in it. And uh, you also see a small chest next to the bed. Ooh, can I can I check the chest is locked? It is locked. I want to use my. Thieves tools as, to she's, it. As, she, as she takes out her thieves tools, I tap her shoulder and just sign the word for traps. Yes. Yeah. I'm 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 just going to unlock it and then I will check to make sure it's not trapped. Okay. Uh you're gonna unlock it first? Yeah, I rolled fifteen to unlock it. Uh yeah, you do unlock the chest. Ah. And then Ooh, neat. And uh a seventeen for checking for traps. Which that I'm assuming is just trapped. investigation. Okay, cool. I'm going to open it. Uh, you find a pouch with 10 gold pieces and a bundle of crossbow bolts. Ooh, nice. I'll hand 5 gold to Dragon. A bundle of crossbow bolts? Yeah, I'm going to hold on to those and give them to Davian later. No, 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 the murderer! Assassin. Are you stupid? Yeah, the assassin. The yeah, I was so picky. Jax is the murderer? <laughs> Jax is the murderer! He was blue. Explains why she the, lived. The monster was blue. I was only thinking <laughs> how they could be useful. Yeah, for I've us. been awfully quiet with all this conspiracy theory talk going yeah, on. Yeah, the fact, yeah. the like, fact that she lived not, gives Zoko it credence. Isn't here at all. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoko isn't here, but Jax is. Yeah. What do the papers in the bin say? Are any of them readable? <laughs> is it better say. or worse for us to kill him while he's not here? <laughs> like, if your party has to turn on you, do you want to be there for that? Of course you want to be there. Hello? <laughs> All right, so you're looking at the desk now? Yeah, I want to check what the papers in the bin say. Oh, in the bin. You go yeah, I look the at bin. the desk while she looks at the bin. You go through the bin. Yeah, sure. Uh, you go through the bin, and you yep. find some notes. One catches your eye. I believe I found the temple that belonged to the tribe my family used to be a part of. Finally, it is time to make the needed preparations. Ooh, I'm going to hold on to that. desk, Daigon... You find yes. a map of Keldar with a circle surrounding uh, the part of the jungle, like the part of the jungle directly yeah. north of the city, like that little that little map strip with there. The jungle north of the city circled. Okay. Does the circle encompass all three temples? No, it's like a very small circle, like it literally like just circles that little tip. Uh, of the jungle that is like directly north of Eldalon, pretty much. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll show oh. it to. I'll show it to Kess, and then I'll keep it, and I'll also sign, show to others. Mm. I'll, I'll just show her the note I found. I'll just say, all right. I feel pretty confident handing him over to law enforcement now. <laughs> now, now we can arrest him. Gotta find him yeah. first. Well, yeah. <laughs> And I, I signed to her also, like, earlier, hesitation not with helping the the law enforcement hesitation just to make sure what happened to me doesn't happen to someone else. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, My bad. Are there any more rooms up here that are, like, no, It was just a bedroom. Just a okay, bedroom. cool. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty small Check. house. Basimante. Yeah. Basement? Mm-hmm. Basement nothing, boy. Nothing but uh, basement boys. Just like your, the usual, the usual suspects that you would find in a basement. Any, any of a home secret doors in, in the floor. Um, the doors. Ma make an investigation check. I'm gonna guide myself. Investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Doesn't even need me. What do my eyes see? Yeah. <laughs> you find a rat. Yes. <laughs> you find 
Uh, ooh. <laughs> what language do you speak? Oh boy. Uh, common, deep, elvish, undercommon. You find something kind of carved into the wall. Uh, but it's in a language you do not speak. Oh. Find anything exciting? It is a language you that could... you have seen, because you, you looked at... Um, you've seen Draconic, right? Like, you've seen... Yeah, I've the, seen the, Draconic. The, the, yeah. The room. It's, it's in Draconic. I suppose you happen to speak Draconic, do you? Believe it or not, no. You know, some people pick up languages as they go. There's Draconic here on this wall. Does it look like... Now, <laughs> Draconic is a weird language, <laughs> <laughs> but do I recognize anything about it? Like, does it look like it's pointing somewhere? Does it look like an arrow? Or is it like pretty much just in fucking writing? It's right. It's I just, yeah. will just straight up cast detect magic. I'm not going to do it as a ritual. I'm just going to fucking cast it. You're going to draw? You're going to cast? You're going to cast, you're gonna cast uh, <laughs> detect magic? Detect. Yep. Nothing. I just kind of go up. I don't suppose anyone can speak Draconic, can they? Nope. <laughs> no, but I can talk to snakes. Does Jack speak Draconic? Does someone have his character sheet? Pretty sure he doesn't. Okay, cool. Wait, check it. speak with animals lasts 10 minutes? And if well, he did, he wouldn't tell us, because he's the big bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, bugger. Can I yell down into the snake pit? Uh, any of you read oh Draconic god. by any chance? Oh my god. <laughs> fucking read No. Yes, me. Get me out. Shit. Get yes, gonna... me. <laughs> yeah. Get, yeah, let me out. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna just gonna put go my hand on that brick. Oh, you do that. Anything happen? Um, nothing happens. I touch the bricks around it. <laughs> nothing happens. Does Diagon Alley run out? Yeah, just I'm trying yeah, to fucking... See if the... yeah, fucking... I can find out if there's... Something but we can try and find out if there's something don't, behind the wall if you want. No, you don't brick. suppose you have um pull out a crowbar. Spare bit of paper or something so I can make a rubbing of this. I will pull out my sketchbook and take a piece of paper at the back and pass it to him. Okay, and I'll sketchbook away. Do you have a pen as well? You couldn't Actually, transcribe could... it. No, I, I, I'll pass you a pencil. Yeah, pen I, will work. Oh yeah, don't you want me? I mean, I'm just there with fucking like incense. Like, come on! <laughs> <laughs> or like ritual chalk. Come on, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, ritual chalk would work. Yeah, it I think it's be white. A bit of a though. waste of chalk. It's also, it's also I'm very sure it's white. expensive. <laughs> very expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll I'll make a rubbing of the, um, mm -hmm. as much as I can, and you know, try if I. Can see there's bits that's not. I'm gonna like try and fill it in, but for the most part, I'm just gonna kind of keep it as things I can. I just make a. Um. Make a for the purposes of this. Make a sleight of hand check. Definitely blessing myself for this. I mean guidance. Guiding. I know. I know. I'm in guiding. Because everything, everything, everything else in my fucking thing is called a bless of some kind. Yeah. Is this there, something like, I can assist with? I'm sure. I will assist you. Why can't Thank. I... Fuck. Oh! Otherwise, it's quite a hand. We'll see how well. it does. <laughs> eight. Hmm. Um, Throwing that one to an eight, baby. Nice. You make a rubbing, and uh, that means, as far as you can tell, it looks about right. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll show it, I'll it just look. Like shit. Is that right? <laughs> uh, it's a bit smudged, and there's definitely some some letters that are only like half rubbed on properly, and it doesn't look like it, it looks like you'll probably get the gist of it if translated, but not the full like shebang. Why don't we take two and all do one, and then that way, if we lose one of them, we've still got it because this could be really important. I mean, you do you. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just gonna put it in my. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna do the same, uh, yeah. Brooks. Make a slight hand check. I'll, I'll, I'll guide him. If I, if he's, you he's... guide me? Yeah. Woo! I won on the guidance of so twenty-five. Uh, much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> 
<laughs> I look at what he's done, I'm like, basically the same. I'm like, hmm. Absolutely. No, I'm not. I'm not. I look at Mike. Oh, that's what that was. Because I like, I start filling it in with my own pencil a little bit. To like, oh, I'm pretty sure it looked like that. Oh, <laughs> we'll just, I think it probably says, say we use yours. And I just like kind of fold mine in half. No, no, no. If, if we lose mine, then we oh, have I've just yours. only folded it in half. I've not torn it away. Just so it fits it my bag better. It's all smudged. No, oh, bugger. <laughs> bugger. Yeah. <laughs> I was fine. Find carefully into my schedule. <laughs> I didn't do this often. All right. Did you? And I'll I'll go upstairs. Did you guys find anything? As, yes, we we found. Um, well, I found a note. Okay. I will pass over the note so you can read it. I'll read. Well, I mean, that's again doesn't help with our whole if they're being framed or not. But it's pretty damning evidence. And I'll just least. I'll just show the map with the certain like point out the circle. Well, there's our next lead, isn't it? I also found some crossbow bolts. Were were they just out and about, or were they kept? No, away? in a chest with some ten gold. No, yeah, definitely. Hey, normal crossbow bolts. I'm gonna pull them out and like really look at them and see if they're weird or like tipped with anything. Uh, they're pretty big and bulky. Okay. Do they look like the type that would have been used with the crossbow? Yeah, with a heavy crossbow. Yeah. Wait, was it, was yeah. It, I think it was a heavy crossbow. It was a light crossbow. It was, no, it was, it was a light, light crossbow. Right. True. You're right. Sorry. For some reason, I had so heavy they're, the they're light bolts. So they yes. are not he big and bulky. They are. Yeah. I, I had heavy <laughs> on the brain for some reason. You don't need a powerful bolt if you coat it. But in uh, they, they seem like they could be bolts that uh, fit the, the, the crossbow used so or yeah. found at the crime scene, I guess, yeah. Yeah, pretty damning evidence against this man. However, again. Just jump straight to conclusion. I no. assume. Now, here's the choice. I assume we don't have this man, so do we go chasing after blindly, or do we tell them what we know first? We were told to bring him back. I do sort of feel like they we should go find him. I, I'll sign. We should maybe leave them a note just so they know where we are and where he might be in case something happens. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we. Very should pragmatic of you. And see if we can get an advance on our dragon's brain eight. that I can't actually talk to. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we need to go possibly fairly far and could mm -hmm. do with some supplies because we're essentially going to a fucking snake festival. I mean, well, that's true. Shout to ask, ask for supplies and, and the likes. You're traveling with a ranger of the lodge of Briarstown. So, I don't know what that means. Wah. He's Bloody good at finding stuff outside. This is my. This is what I do. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay, but then at least if we don't find him, we still uh, got some of the money that we would have got otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Make a get an get an advance, mm. and uh, get an advance on maybe some payment, or maybe even get them paid for for some for get them really to pay for out. some supplies for us. I really want. We to don't know how long we're going to be out there. Before we, we get leave, tents. I. I, mm. I'll also sign to Kess to sh uh, that I also can find food and fresh water pretty reliably because I have the Outlander feature where I can find food and fresh water for up to five people plus myself each day if the land go. provides it. What's the nice. sign for Outlander feature? <laughs> <laughs> this. This. <laughs> I'm sure it's not this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, what do you want to do? So what, we go, we report our findings and we, uh... Oh, we haven't put all our findings, most of them. <laughs> most I really want right. to, I really, before we leave the city, I really want to find out what that brick says. And oh, I'm yeah. sort of tempted to try and remove the brick with my crowbar. I think we keep the brick intact for now as we know what it says, because it could say high explosives or something stupid. And we, you know, trigger it. You it's weird to write that as a warning. You think However, a man who fills a pit with snakes is going to also have high explosives? I mean, or you could just break it down and be like, we found something like this can, on it, if you want. Can we at least... Right. If you guys go and get supplies or whatever, while you're doing that, can I go and get this translated and then potentially come back and we'll look sure. at it all together? Yeah, sounds... who's, yeah. who's to say the tent merchant isn't a dragonborn? We might mm. be able to find a translation there. It's a good, good job we've got two rubbings. Mm-hmm. Hmm. About that. Mm. 
Right, so, who's talking, okay, well, the way I see it, we've got a few different things we need to cover. We need to talk to Tranliel about our findings, we need to go and buy supplies for adventure into the jungle, and we need to get that brick translated. I mean, I'll happily talk to Tranliel, I mean, you two seem to find as well, I don't know what, I can't look at Kesson. I mean, where we are now? Everything that we need to do, we're gonna go. Ha we're gonna have to go to the other side of the city anyway. Might as well all go to Tranlil together, mm -hmm. and then you guys will. We'll, mm -hmm. I I mm -hmm. need to go up to. Uh, I need to go. I mean, Orvo roughly, might still be there. Roughly, he might know. Crafting districts. You guys need to go. I mean, I mean, Orvo might still be about. He probably could translate. Or at least know someone. So my. I'll come one. with you to the crafting district. This is this is the next day. Oh. Yeah. You're fucking right, it is the next day. You could go, well, you, where was you from that fucking, what was the name of the library? I wrote it down, but I can't remember. The bookshop? Snap, sna the Snapped Quill. Snapped yeah. Quill, that's right. I, I need to go, like, crafting or trade district. I mean, you can go this. find the Snapped Quill and see all the... I think that'd be a good shout. I want to go to the dockyard. But... Why don't we but all first, let's all go get to the military district and then let's we'll try and get some there. money first. Yeah. Or get a Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Let's walk. Alright, keep. Tranliel. You went to. You, you travel back to Tranliel, uh, knock yeah. on a door, and she opens it and it's kind of like. It's still in like a dressing gown. It's it's still morning after all. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Good morning. Sorry to wake you. We have good news and we have bad news. Maybe with the good first. We. Almost certain to know where this person, where this Jeremiah is. There's a lot that's in evidence against him, it should be said. Nothing that And we're clear. pretty sure he's the one who tried to kill you. We are pretty sure, but again, there's not 100% evidence. We can't we can't condemn him just yet. No. Right. Bad news is, he's not here. I so. would he imagine, going, seeing as it's just the six of you. He seems to be going up for, like, whoever's got the map, I assume, probably, like, Me. Yes, you, Oh, yeah. do you he's have the map, Megan? And we'll point to like where the circle is. All right. Um, so, did you intend to chase after? Or? Well, your yeah, mission was from you to try and get him to stop him from going further. That's um, correct. So, don't suppose you could lend us some hand and gain some supplies, even if you've got some pre-prepared, or if you could give us a forward um, on some coinage. What kind of supplies to... would you be needing? You think? I'll look straight at Davian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of supplies would we be needing, Davian? <laughs> uh. Tents, water skins, anything to stop the fucking jungle fever, Ocean. medicines, anything like that. Alcohol for sterile Fashions. purposes. Right. All right um... Most importantly, tents, jungle skins, rations, and medicine. That can be arranged. Um, I'll send someone to fetch that for you. Um, as far as... Uh, diseases and other nasty uh, jungle afflictions. Um, I think, um, given the circumstances of the land, we do have some uh, <clears throat> elixirs that kind of prevent you from getting infected by such afflictions. Um, they don't last forever, but they sh drink one and should cover you for at least a few days. Just don't try to stay in there for too long, I suppose. If that's, um... Yeah, we can do that. And right, she, we can do our uh, best. She kind of, like, again, does the whole, does the fucking... And a guard comes running. Gives, gives him the grocery list of things that you mentioned that you would need. So, tents. Uh, probably some sleeping skins. bags. Water skins. Um... Rations and medicine. Rations and medicine. And, uh... About half an hour later, he returns with uh, all of these supplies. It's a pretty, pretty heavy load. Like a lot of mm -hmm. the, the tents are pretty, pretty big. All right. Um, if that is all, then I uh, wish you good luck and look forward to your return. So I guess, yeah, I guess that's a, what a tent each, or is it like two man tents? There are. Uh, you got brought three tents, so you guess that there are two man tents. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take one. Jacks take one. Brooks take one. 
Yes. Oh. If you hand it, if you hand it yes, to me, or... Brooks will carry it, but he won't volunteer for it. <laughs> What's the oh, mess yeah. we got? Would it tent two person in adventure? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Would you right. say it's like? Did we get like an antitoxin is what we got for um, or because no, that's just a gun to be on. This is a homebrew thingy. This is just okay. an, uh, an elixir of um I'll just put medicine <laughs> as a... Yeah. Oh, hold on, I have it written down somewhere. But, Jungle yeah, medicine. It's, it's, it's home, just yeah. For now, write okay. that down. I'll give you the name. Wait, isn't that wait Russian? Isn't that Russian stranglephone? It's called like jungle so, I can't even remember the name. You have to Good find name. a bunch from the um Maybe. From the humans that are out there, all the human bandits. Anyway. Yeah, could be, could be, could be. How many rations did you say we got? Uh, enough to cover you for five days of travel each. Nice, so five rations. Five. How many was that? Five? Yeah, five rations. Uh, fuck it. Two person ten. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just jungle remedy in uh, Poopy, the, yeah. the, the Curzon compound. Yeah, I think so. It sounds about right. Yeah. <clears throat> you say it was called Curzon? No, that's oh, that's a no, wild thing. Wild oh. thing. I just oh, still okay. just put a custom item. So we're probably going to use them immediately. Yeah. They're preventative. Yeah. They're not to treat. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. We're just going to assume from this point on that we're drinking them until Dad Like as soon as we get out. close to the jungle, we're yeah. all going to pop one probably. Yeah. But, yeah. Take it as a chaser. <laughs> Just put it in other possessions. Bump, bump. Yeah, that's what I've done. Yes, that'll uh, work. Bottle. Oh, just like an extra oh, one in each or what? Yeah. Water skin. Uh, and I have a water skin. Yay. Whee. Did you, did we get uh like bed rolls, such beds? Sleeping bags. I, mean, I already have one of those. So. Yeah. I, don't, I have a blanket. <laughs> yeah, there is a sleeping bag for you then in that case. <clears throat> I'm just gonna call it a bed. Just, uh, are we using people. encumbrance at all? No. Okay. Well, we're like, using it to just the point of where reason. I feel like what you're all gonna be carrying now, because you can spread it out. So, like, you know, not one single person will be able to carry all this. But you're purely because no. I'm like, yeah. I basically kind of referee that myself. When I feel like yeah. it's getting a little too ridiculous, is when I'm like, hey, you can't carry that. I mean, like with can, the, with I the ten, carry... I'm still not encumbered to any degree, so I was just yeah, double checking. But yeah. I'm not even at half of my encumbrance, so we'll be fine. Hmm. Inventory management. Mm-hmm. Yay! Yeah, appreciate appreciate, it, appreciate it, the bag of holding, huh? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> or uh, whatever that fucking uh, ha handy haversack. Yeah. Oh, I love that thing. <laughs> fucking love that thing, dude. Alrighty. Oh, before while she's still fetching supplies, I'm just gonna tap um, Brooks on the shoulder, and and gesture like like go like this, Trenly, oh, like, like rubbing something, yeah, yeah. and then point point to Tranleo. Sure. Um, Tranleo, what mm -hmm. you happen to? Actually, this might make a bit of sense that you would. Uh, you speak to. Draconic. I do, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, you should be able to translate something for me we found at this guy's house. Sure. Show it to me. I'll show her the rubbing. Great Slitherer Supreme, grant me the strength to get back at my family's wrongdoers. It's not helpful uh, and it's just a little scary and depressing. Could you type that out? Also, while while the supplies are being got, can I go and sell those rings? Mm -hmm. You can certainly yeah, try. Yeah, so many yeah. hours. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you're bringing him. You're bringing the rings to uh, the craft district because that is more where they're more yeah. refined, specific. Which also means you're bringing them to an expert. Yep. <laughs> so he's going to have a look at them before he accepts the trade. What's your spell safety, C? Okay, great. Da 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 da. It doesn't matter. Is it not? I guess it's that Natural, easy. 20. Um, natural 20. Oh. You're gonna get arrested! He, uh, you're at the, I, I would say you're probably at the, um, the, the, the jewel crafters. <laughs> I mean, cause this is you wanna get arrested, he'll just be like, I know they're not worth that much, fuck you. This is my offer, Hold take on. it or leave it. It's not illegal for her to ask <laughs> for more money than they're worth, but. That's true. 
Hold on, hold is on, it hold fraud on, hold on. or is it just optimism? Like, it, it's fraud if she's like, they're beautiful, like, diamond rings in their porcelain. But I don't think she ever said that. She's just saying, look you're, how look how fine the craftsmanship on this porcelain to, uh, is. Like, 182 so year old male high elf, bald head, uh, brown eyes, um, rough but slightly bluish you to his skin, uh, pretty lean build, and he just looks at you. How much was it that you said you want for these? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the expert here. But what would what, what you say they're worth? <sighs> VP. I'd consider purchasing them off you for five gold each, as I do also need to turn a profit a bit myself. Five gold each. How many Correct. did I get? I don't know. How many did you get? How many did I get? Bell, how many did you write down how many you got? I just I just got told they were that the in total they were worth ten gold. That's what I got. I didn't get how many I got. I just wrote. So then he's offered you five gold for ten golds worth of rings. Was that the wording? Or did you get told they were I asked how much they were you just said they were worth ten gold. I think it was totaling ten gold, not each ring. That could be okay, fair. Um offer me five gold then, in that case, yeah. There's offer you five gold for an amount of rings. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get, I just want to get rid of them. I don't, I don't want them in my inventory anymore. Pleasure yeah, I'll do business. that. And he hands you five gold and takes the rings. Don't care enough. <laughs> so let me roll a natural 20 on this, on this investigation check, man. <laughs> Good fuck. <laughs> All right. The music stopped. Stop it. Why? Why do you do that? Um. Okay. Anything else you guys want to do in or around the city before you set off? I will. No, no, wait. Never mind. You don't. Mind. Okay. Um. I. Yeah. Would I know if there's a good place? that I would be able to buy alcohol for cheaper than going to a tavern. The alcohol distribution in this city is mainly done by the taverns. Like, uh, you could buy alcohol off of, like, uh... A... Do I go to the brewery? Oh, you could go to the brewery, yeah. True. Would I get a friend's discount? Perchance, perhaps. Maybe. You can certainly try. You guys have anything else you need to do? Do I have time to go mm -hmm. to the brewery before we have to leave? You can always make a stop. It's, it's the other direction, but I'll, I'll be really quick. I promise I'll sprint. Okay. I'm gonna so run go to, to Brewholder brew holder, brewery. brewery and Distillery. As you walk in, you can see uh, Brachito, the Minotaur, uh, with the shaved down horns uh, on the top Minotaur. of his head. Uh, already, like, busy writing down something, and he looks at you as you enter. It's good to see you, Brooks. Good morning. Good to see you yourself. Your business is doing well. It's doing, uh, doing all right. I'm still working on perfecting some of my recipes, but we're getting there. Uh, what can I do for you? So, uh, long story short, I'm looking at heading out for couple of days to a week, maybe longer, if things are shitty. And you're yeah. looking for some uh, something to make party on the way, huh? Make party on the way, of course. Uh, you know, hopefully with a, a friends and family discount. Of course. Um, how much and of what uh, beverage would you be taking off my hands? Uh, hmm. Can we... A bottle of... It's gonna be like an assortment of balls, I guess. Just a bit of everything, a bit, a uh, bit yeah. of a mix, uh, mix and match bag of uh, alcoholic goodness. Enough to, to keep six people comfortably. Six people. Not drunk, but comfortably married. But how many days you say? Drink. Let's around the side of a week. 
about a week. Um, is it safe to assume? Uh, like, how many bottles do you think you'll go through uh, per night? Let's just say one a night, maybe, given the. One a night. So, say you're looking for seven bottles and you want a bit of a mix. Alright, so I'll just see what I can me. do. And he goes to the back and then. You hear him like kind of like clanging some bottles around, uh, but eventually he emerges with a little like with a little basket, and in that there are seven bottles. Um, you see <clears throat> one bottle of uh, blue blood, Ooh. one large uh, bottle of pear cider. Oh. One bottle of Dwarven Whiskey. Uh, is it just general Dwarven just, Whiskey? Or is just it general Dwarven Whiskey, yeah. Uh, one bottle of Rutka. Yeah. One bottle of Port. Yeah. How many was that? That's uh, five altogether. It's five. Uh, one... Large bottle of brandy. Ooh. Cool. And uh, it is a little, little special. Uh, I've, I'm starting to make these pre-mixed bottles. Uh, for sake of convenience. Uh, doesn't so it's so that instead of having to buy different things, you can just buy one bottle, have to drink pre-mixed, put it in a glass, and you're good to go. Uh, so here I have a uh, bottle of Stormy Sky pre-made. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Mm, to a normal customer, but uh, for this uh, amount, about five gold for you. Say three, three in color today. I'll give him four. I'll split it in the middle. Yeah. Very, very kind friend. of you. Enjoy your party. Yeah, Do not you make too many good time without me. I'll be very disappointed if I hear news of your latest wild escapade and I did not have an invite, but... Uh, you're going to be I returning get... to the city, or uh, is this you saying goodbye? If I don't come back, something horrible has happened, but it is my intention to come back, so... So either you died or you got married, alright. No. I don't know which of those is worse, but I will see you in a while. Alright, well, uh, hopefully see you when you get back. If uh, you don't, invite to the wedding would be appreciated. Yes, man, if you bring this amount of alcohol. Hmm. I can do catering. I can't imagine you doing catering for a wedding. Is that just a, a liquid diet? Mm -hmm. Okay, justified. I appreciate and respect Maybe some it. breads and cheese, you know, to go with it. Mainly alcohol, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a nod and I'll step out. All right. Then I will fucking book it with a clanking bag. <laughs> Because I know that everyone's waiting for me, and I don't want them all right. to be mad. So you uh, you meet up, all your supplies uh, ready to go. Lot of booze for the road. Uh, judging by the map, this trip would be would be about um, half a, uh, like about six hours march to get to the edge of the jungle, um, which is a trip you make. Unless there's something else you want to do before you leave. Now's your chance. Alright. And as you travel your six hour your six hour trek. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's warm. It's it's the, the climate here is very tropical. Uh who'd have thought? Uh, Surprise. Uh, in a in a jungle? Not I'm cloudy. Digging it. Not cloudy at all. Um and after about six hours, so that would be uh, nearing the late afternoon by the time that you finally like left the city it would have been like close to noonish. ish uh, nearing the late afternoon early evening you reach the edge of the jungle like you're about to enter the jungle you, if you proceed uh, yeah, do you do anything well. before you enter? pop oh, those elixirs medicine. Take a yeah. I take a little bit of charcoal mm -hmm. and I just Across my face, break up my face a little bit, put my hood up, take some jungle remedy. 
I have to admit, you look very similar to how our snake man was described in that get up. Get him. Okay. Oh, surely that's better. <laughs> Devin, actually, can this is your does this mean we can add an empty. Was it just like a little vial or was it like a full on. Like... It's a pretty, it's a pretty, like, like it's like potion sized. Uh, okay. Like, it's a pretty, it's a pretty I'm big gulp. I'm keeping track of empty vials this time so we actually know what we have to, like, put stuff in things. So. Okay. Damn it. Uh, how awful is this fucking um it's 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 thick tastes tastes like an odd combination of licorice and with with like a very bitter aftertaste proper cough medicine shit yeah like uh it's fucking yeager weird root wait doesn't isn't there like a root that's good for you that tastes like licorice Uh, for sure well yeah could be licorice root. <laughs> there you go. Bad for your blood pressure, though. Yeah. Then it was licorice and what else did you say? Sorry. Uh, it was a very yeah. bitter aftertaste. Yeah. It's like fantasy Jägermeister. Tastes go. like medicine, baby. Jäger doesn't taste yeah. like licorice. It does taste like no. cough medicine, though. It's that yeah. it sort of like bad, medicine-y. Yeah, it doesn't taste you know. good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dutch. All right. I'm, I'm a licorice, one, okay? So the circle that was on the map is yes. fairly... Close, very right? close. Yeah. yeah, it is very close. Like it's not deep into the jungle at all. Okay. Come to the jungle. <clears throat> De- Devin, just because you can see like tracks or anything, can you, or is it not how this works? Considering it's well, ages get. Yeah, I mean, this man, according to the snakes, left two or three weeks ago. Oh, uh, f- fair enough. I don't so know. Who knows? Seem to know what's going on with this all, just kind of taking your. Well, I know what's going on with helpful. this all. God, let me tell you. I mean, <laughs> I know the jungle air is is thick and warm, but it is a breath of fresh air compared to being in the city. <laughs> Suppose I'll right. lead the way. I mean, I've got a map. I've got a rough idea. All right. Off you go. And as you lead the way, and you all enter the jungle proper now, we'll end it here. We'll pick this up next week. Hey. All right. Welcome to oh. jungle. Oh. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, baby. So this this Are we episode gonna be level three next issue? has to be no. called Illuma Yuanti. Yeah, it has to be Illuma Yuanti. Illuma Yuanti episode for sure. God. All right, dude. That whole like fucking rant, uh, those co- fucking conspiracy theories. That was fucking. Those great. were so funny. <laughs> that was fucking great. Oh. I thoroughly enjoyed oh, the Primus shit. having a secret affair and a half snake baby. Yeah. But clearly, someone had a half snake, half human baby. Yeah. Is Jeremiah <laughs> is the estranged son of the Primus. Who I fucked the snake? I still like this plan personally, or like Who that theory personally. Snake? Who had sexual relations with the snake? Okay, that's all I want to know. <laughs> I did not have sexual <laughs> relations with that <laughs> snake. <laughs> Oh, God, fuck me. I don't know what's worse. The fucking one of the big three here <laughs> having an illegitimate love child with a snake, uh, or the idea that, like, the fucking uh, start of the fourth era was maybe, government conspiracy. maybe, it's no, a... ja- Jack's being the big bad evil guy. I like that one. <laughs> that one. Maybe, one. maybe one, it's yeah. like very Greek god esque and it was just snake god coming in fucking a human without consent because gods did that all the time in lots of mythology and then half god, half Zeus, progeny. <laughs> all <there>. yeah, yeah, <laughs> Zeus turned into a snake and seduced the Primus. That's what happened, yeah, yeah, right after he turned into a goose and seduced his own daughter. No, it's just the other. It's just whatever snake god oh. they actually worship. Oh, yeah, Zeus. Like... <laughs> All right. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Seth thanks is kind of a fuckboy name, to be fair. Like, yeah. Yeah. Double, double ass as well. What a poser. Yeah. Right? Um, I'm a dick. I, uh, my name's Seth. Like, the Seth <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have, like, a cool yacht. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for uh, watching, It's my everybody. dad's, but, like, that's not important. Um, like, he's like, I can still ride it. And uh, we'll be back here next week for session four. We'll be here tomorrow for uh, Baldur's Gates. Me, uh, Duke, and uh, Ethan will be. And, it's the Underdark. Um, yeah, we're going to be traveling to the Underdark. That's going to be exciting. Woo! going to be exciting. Ooh. The jungle is yeah. the Underdark? No, no, no. For, no, for Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah. The Dungeon right. Discourse will have Duke and Koiba Thursday. I'm one of those people. Questions, uh, if you want to submit them, uh, check out the subreddit. There's a thread there. Or tweet them at uh, Dungeon Select on Twitter. And although Jonas has left us, I managed to roll double digits and I will post dice picks. Hell yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, I think uh, Sage is life. So this is. This yeah, is, this and is really she's Sage. doing a partner push again. So. 
Let's go. go say hey to Sage. Let's go say hi to Rocket Sage. Awesome streamer, no, way smarter than I, bro. than all of us combined, really. Mm. Let's be fucking real here. Uh, so if you have mm. any uh, dungeon select emotes, which of course you all do, because Soko gifted like a million subs, so you should all have Make dungeon select emotes. We should use the big brain emote because she does educational content. Use the big brain mm. because Sage is big brain. So hold mm. on, let me quickly type a message. Big brain. Bop, there we go. Yeet, dab, something like this, you know, let her know Dungeons like sent ya. And uh, we're back here tomorrow. And this will be on YouTube on Bell, help? Uh, this will be on YouTube on Wednesday. Right, and this will be a rerun on this channel on Tuesday. That's, that's the schedule. There just, we go. Just stay tuned for updates about the audio only shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stay tuned. We'll, and uh, one shot on Saturday. One shot on Saturday. 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 Oh, true. Do a lot, a lot of shit happening uh, this week. Let's go. Nice. Awesome. Wednesday week. Busy week, and I'm Busy so week. glad that I don't have anything to do with that Busy one shot because that means that I actually because dude, you can watch and sit back and relax. I mean, yeah, exactly. And you That's can laugh I mean, as right? I try and do your job badly. I'm definitely gonna be watching. <laughs> yeah, watch someone yeah. else sweat in the DM chat for absolutely. Change. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank Hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a great uh, Monday tomorrow. It's a great start of your week, hopefully, and uh, we'll be here next time. Bye bye. Peace out. Bye. Take care. Bye. Captain Cabinet.